れですかはいとにかく無事完了しましたアルジ殿向こうに結構物資が積み上がっているようですがあれが報酬ですかオーケーおおエブリオンそう、あんまエブリオンわお、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、あんまり、A little bit upset. I was hoping I would just be taking like an hour or two long nap and then diving back into trying to get vi a video situation under control, which still is. <sighs> I fell asleep and slept for probably about 12 13 hours. I'm pretty sure that's because I'm overworked. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that when tomorrow is done and over with, I am off for 10 days. Like, I don't have to do any work for 10 days, and I'm really going to enjoy that. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. I'm still a little bit behind. I gotta finish up this event. I was gonna grind yesterday, but again, it didn't happen. So, I'm almost done. You guys can see I'm pretty much almost done with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I don't need to go to. Like, I'm not tired now, it's just I really needed this, the sleep, I guess. So that's pretty much where it was at, I guess. I never really thought about how, how exhausted I would be. <laughs> I have been kind of grinding a bit. Oh, I need to... I did pretty some heavy grinding earlier this morning while I was at work. Well, what I could do. So, a bunch of characters in here, right? Who's my sixth? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Remember the times I was on vacation from job and boss called for something silly and I was like, bruh. I had that happen once. My last job I kind of worked like service desk. And um... I got a call. Um... From my, I guess like the overall manager that I have. Cause, cause like the way, our, the way our hierarchy worked was... We had people that worked each shift. We had a shift manager, and then above the shift manager was the manager of the whole service desk. I was the shift manager for second uh, shift, which was the 2 to 10 30 team. I got a call around like 5 in the morning that uh, they didn't have enough people in first shift and they wanted me to come in. So I ended up working from like. Six till about ten thirty at night. So six in the morning to about ten thirty at night. I've had that before. It's absolutely disgusting. So I've had I've had rough times with work already. Is that a personal record? Probably. I don't think I've slept that that long. That long. At least in a long time. I think the last time I did was like probably twenty fifteen when I did. I decided for some stupid reason to pretty much not sleep during the entirety of finals week. I mean, it paid off in the sense that I, I ended up with a 4.0 and got all and aced all my exams, but I was at the end of that week I was hallucinating and for some reason the <laughs> I was hallucinating, so <laughs> That sounds healthy. Yeah, it sounds uh that, I, 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 I never wanted to do that again, so I didn't do it again, so <laughs> Yeah. Uh you got overtime that day. Oh, yeah, I got a day off. I got an extra day off. <laughs> so, unfortunately, the day that was off was Saturday. Because my schedule was weird. My, that, that last job I had. I wore Tuesday to Saturday instead of Monday to Friday. So, it completely ruined a lot of things. <laughs> you're new here. SX, yeah, you've been around, SX. I don't think you're new here anymore. 
I don't think we could say you're a, a newbie. I just want to play off the joke that I have with the roll, but whatever. So. Anyway, um... One of the things I do want to mention is my uh, French fleet's doing pretty dang good now. Uh, JB finally hit the 100 rank, or level if you want to call it that. Uh, Richie is now in the 80 plus club. Uh, she, Perseus is also in the 90s. Uh, insert joke about running in the 90s. <laughs> and my entire front line is pretty leveled now, which is pretty nice. I didn't think I was going to get to... I never, I never really thought I'd be really working on, my, on the French fleet that much. So, um, also on the boss side, Enterprise hit level 120. I think Shoal is getting their suit. Ooh. That didn't sound good. That did not sound good. I think it's okay, though. I think so. Who are we open today? Guys, no, please. I have five new oaths I can't handle right now. <laughs> Keeping multiple oaths happy is hard. So, anyway, um, as you guys do probably already know, the uh, skins are all back. I think all of them. I don't know if they're all back. But I think most of them are. So this will give you that opportunity to go get that one Helena skin you don't have. Or... I don't know, uh, the adorable mini skin. Or if you're, or if you really like this Kawakaze skin, which I actually do kind of like, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, that's also there. But lots of options now. Although I will definitely say the newer skins are kind of cute. This Ardent one's adorable. Ardent is a bit of a cinnamon roll. Everything but collab skins. Yeah, probably. I don't think the Neptunia ones are in because if people don't have the Neptunia characters, what's the point of buying the skin? Kawakaze doing a Lapland cosplay. You know, I never thought of it that way, but you know it works. If we were going to off last stream, he needs to Oath Ruin. Nagato, Dunkirk, and Palm yet, so have fun. Oh god. None of them are even close to being ready. Wasn't I working with the Russian team? Where was my Russian team? I think I took them off. I took them off, yeah. They were getting tired. Plus, they were low enough, low enough levels they weren't ready for it. Sartoki's an ice skin. It probably isn't. Yeah, that's true. What is this life about? What do you mean? It's the... Uh, so, like, what I... I generally am just, gr like, grinding and playing the game. That's really about all there is to it. Nothing too crazy. It's kind of a nice little chill stream. I don't know. Depends on what pe how people look at it. <laughs> Keep an eye out for the Idea Factory ga guys starting their stream. They're doing Fairy Fencer tonight. Oh, they're doing Fairy Fencer? They're streaming Fairy Fencer tonight? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty laid back. You're, you're welcome to hang out if you want. I'm not going to force you to stay. Not that I can really do that to begin with anyway, but you're welcome to hang out if you want. <laughs> Gao bless your health today. I really should- I feel like I might want to make that the new, like... <laughs> ah, that is loud. I'm gonna do daily rolls. Uh, I did do my daily build, but if you guys want me to, I guess I could do a few builds. Just keep it up with some tab. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. What do they usually do on those streams? Are they, are they just, like, playing it casually, or are they... Like, actually, like, going to be announcing stuff as well. I don't generally know what it is. Good background noise or grind. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people do, like, load up the stream and, uh... They'll, like, they'll have the stream up, but they'll also just, like, kind of play the game themselves. Just kind of hang out. That's pretty much all it is. Who, who was your newest oaths? Uh, both Baltimore and Bremerton. Uh, Monarch. <laughs> and the Crane Sisters. It was a pretty heavy uh, oath streaming oath stream last time, which was uh, a bit a bit crazy. Ah, ah, yes, right. Uh, I think I can sort. I need to do some sort and do some retires. Why do they call it sort? I mean, it could just say retire. There's eleven free slots. 
I may need to restart my game. I've been have I have had it open like the past like five hours, as you can see by the oil count. I know, ch I know, chat, freak out, freak out. Actually, no, here, don't freak out, don't freak out. I got it, I got it, I've got it, chat. Here we go. There, there, we've resolved it, we fixed it. <laughs> oh, I probably should have done that for. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I thought I had to use that up. Wait, I did use that up already. I guess I used it up a while back ago. Dang. I'm gonna last ring for now. Oh. <laughs> Oil crisis averted. Of course, we have to avoid. Well. I miss cranes. What stream? Last stream. Arivia, please. That's mean. <laughs> that's mean. I'm still disturbed by the amount of sand you have. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Also, I got Elizabeth's skin. It's kind of cute. That's some whack oil efficiency there. What do you mean? <laughs> you mean how I usually am always at positive oil on streams, so I rarely ever think to go here and click that? Did you really need to... Mm. Is it is this like Nekopara? Where where's the where's the physics slider? Is there a physics slider? <laughs> Why does it do that? That much? Hey, Kieran. Jiggy's and I will come back, or will they? I don't know if they'll come back. I don't even know what what. I think the only collab that has the potential at this point now is going to probably be Neptunia. I don't even. I don't know how to feel about Fall Alive. Did you build second sand? No, you can only build one. As much as I would love to do, I we gotta remember that I can force. <sighs> the backline can fire. That's something they can do. Oh, hey, she's on. She's gonna be my second. One hundred from the French side. There are leaks of a DOA club. I mean, did they recently just announce one of the characters? I was gonna say, didn't they just like make all your third, make all your thirty Sandy's Kai? I can't, I can't. They, I, so you only get one of the microphones. You'll never get. I'll never get another one. So I'm like, uh, I, I, I will never be able to fully retrofit them. They'll be all the way up to the final point, but that's all I can really do with them. Physics need to go up. I don't even want to imagine what it would look like if those characters had their physics in. Amplified. I forget how long I forget how long their voice lines are. Though I will say the last bit of this is gonna be relatively easy. The Ibuki grind or the Kitakaze grind is gonna be pretty easy. I said Ibuki. Kitakaze grind is gonna be pretty easy. Just need to get uh, Vanguard going, which that won't be hard to do at all. I'll just be grinding. I think I love them. Eleven thirty, probably. Yeah. There we go. This is a game you haven't really played. Might be a little loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. How's that? Too loud? Is that, or is that better? Up for Super Chef Oat Spree again. I don't, I'd rather not. <laughs> I have a lot of characters that, that like, let, let me do this. Let me work on characters and get their, get their affection levels up first, at least. There's a bunch of characters I can't oath yet because their affection levels aren't that high. Way too low. Too low. Okay. All right, let's adjust this. Probably like right there. How's that? Let's test this. How's this? Is this better? I don't know how loud it is. Probably set a little louder on game. No, they're not generally set louder. I usually keep that one st st 
standard. The uh, background music I generally raise and lower. That sounds fun. Okay. The French have the longest lines. They're pa they're pensionable. You mean passionate? I'm not really sure what word you were trying to use there. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> Ah uh, yes. Why 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 go for a turkey shoot? Why not just bombard them with planes? They can't turkey shoot us. We can turkey shoot them, but they can't turkey shoot us. <laughs> we went back to where it started, but I reckon deal. I can look at things. I don't think I've changed my voice volumes. I generally don't change it. It's usually just the background music I might lower and raise. I'm just gonna sit back here and not do a dang thing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's not overkill. <laughs> oh, hi, Soryu. <laughs> I didn't realize. I, oh, so I guess the entirety of second carry divisions here. You know, I never really did figure out. All right, all right, here we go, chat. Here you were, sort of you. Which, which, if chat had to pick between those two, which one would you pick? The gun sounds and explosions can drown you out a little. Bit. Okay, let me take a look here. I was about to say, let, let me let, let me let my secretary talk a little bit. And then of course it's ASMR mouse or er, mouse. Fox. Let's let's get somebody who's relatively loud. Let's see how this is. Yeah, these I don't touch at all. It's this I oh, you know what? That's why. We're down to about half. About two thirds. There we go. Soryu, she has point points. Is that the reason why? Soryu, because she has boing boings. Really? <laughs> Looks, sort of you, personality, hear you. I know a lot of people that do like sort of you, though. I know, I know, hear you is part of the meta. I think of PvP. This is probably where I really should be. Yeah. Hiryu isn't bad though, I actually do kind of like her too. But then again, both of them are both relatively neat. Have I picked up Princeton yet? No, I've not. Not yet, at least. Please buy Monarch's <laughs> You wanted me to oath her last stream, Kurin! <laughs> uh... Z1, what do you think of this situation? Thanks for the Whoa, bullying, you're trying to kill Rune there. There's a special place for users. You know something I always thought about? I know Soundsmith did a whole series of like stereotypes. Character st like stereotypes for using a specific weapon or whatnot. I wonder if if that should ever be a thing for like uh, Ozit Lang, like, what, what would, what is the stereotype of someone who uses rune? Or somebody who uses Friedrich de Cross? 
<laughs> All right, probably, probably the better thing is uh, blank main stereotypes. What are? Oh, what is it? Iron blood. What? What is the stereotype that exists for iron blood mains or eagle mains or whatnot? I'd rather face you, you these days than some of the other PvP meta cancer setups. Oh god. Monarch thighs look too good. <laughs> I actually haven't really looked at those. I know there's a bunch of like, aren't there a good number of them? I think I need to really restart my game. I can definitely tell it's kind of, it's kind of lagging. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a good number of them here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. On a side note, I feel like this character is an adorable cinnamon roll. I don't know much because I haven't really used Dragon Emperor yet. But just from my initial inter uh, interactions with this character, she seems like a cinnamon roll. I don't know if she's Timmy level cinnamon roll, but we'll see. This looks really good, actually. Watch this one. Oh, that's not bad. This is the second one with a mirror reflection kind of gig, because I know, uh, what was it? Um, doesn't Baltimore's? Have one? Where is Bolt? Party dress, party dress. Don't tell me they don't have Baltimore's in here. Wait. Wait a minute. Baltimore? Am I in the wrong? Hold up. Where is the Baltimore one? Did they not re-add those? God, there's so many skins. There's no way. Too new. Yeah, good. well this was anniversary, so it's not that. Like this is one of the anniversary ones. I feel like I would be curious if people would be like would like this one versus the swimsuit skin, but I feel like I already know the answer. <laughs> I already know the answer. Now this one on the other hand, that's adorable. That one's absolutely adorable. Georgia has some pretty nice looking ones. Oh look, there's one of my Oath characters. Is this the drunk Eugen skin? No, that's the other one. Where's the drunk Eugen one? I don't know why I thought this was the Oath skin for some reason. Read all the skins from A to... Oh, you want me to do what Ozerlane meta did? All right, all right, all right. You want my you want my opinionated tier list? You realize how biased that's gonna be, right? <laughs> you realize how biased this is going to be, right? <laughs> that is the drunk Oigen one. They're always Oigen's always drunk. You know that would explain her sassy attitude. <laughs> all right. Let me just say this. This is gonna be extremely biased because I, I like certain characters with their personalities over other ones, so it's probably gonna be me absolutely just trashing the character over actually the skin. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this one then. Uh, hmm. Not really anything too impressive to say on this one for the most part. It does kind of, I don't know, the red and the pink kind of clash with it, so it's not too bad. But at the same, oh god, my game is scaring me. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll give that one a, I'll give that one a B for the average. I'll give that one a B. Let's see, Dewey. I don't even have Dewey yet, I don't think. 
All right, this one's already losing points for the uh, going for the fan service. <laughs> I always like looking for the little details on these though, like the little, like this happy little bird. I, or, I don't know what actually this bird is doing. This one's busy having Tayaki or whatever. I don't know. I'll give that one a, I'll give it a B too. I don't think I really have too much I can really say about it. B is going to be the average. C is going to be the, I don't really like it. D is going to be the, I hate it slash I actually hate the character. <laughs> F is the stop. It's time to stop. Arden, all right. Arden's adorable. I love the skin on this one. The school, some of the, a lot of the schoolgirl ones have been really cute. I'll say that one. A lot of the skin, a lot of the schoolgirl uh, designs are absolutely adorable. Spee's got some good ones. Uh, I think Fubuki's is pretty funny. So like all of Ibuki <laughs> skins are S plus. <laughs> Maybe I don't know if I could quantify that. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'll give this, I'll give that one an A. I'll give that one an A. It's pretty cute. It doesn't get the S because it doesn't have any, like, crazy details or anything to it that really makes it stand out, but it's getting an A because it's adorable. Alright, Glorious. Probably in the same category as an a, probably the A or the, going to the B, probably. Nothing too crazy about it stand out wise I don't know the character too well, so I can't really say how much it matches the personality too well. So we'll see. Uh, Acosta. Hmm, not really much. Honestly, I like her retrofit art way better than I do like the skin here. Not really sure what they're trying to do with the double strap here. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, is this actually? I'm guessing this is a. Is this a schoolgirl? I'm assuming. I actually don't know which one it would be under. I'm gonna go ahead and say that one is. A, I'm gonna give it a B. I don't think there's anything fancy about it. All right. Ah, uh, okay. So the the festival ones are always really good. I like them a lot. Uh. Again, really like the. I like the black on. I like the. I, I like the blue and white better than I like the black and blue. I don't know. It just feels like it really, really works with the Costa better. Uh. <laughs> there's a golden tech for. I. Okay, hold up. I love that. <laughs> Golden Deck 4 Lantern. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, and she's blushing, so that does kind of contribute to her a little bit, too. That, that matches, so, you know, I'll give this one an A. I like it. We'll be here all stream. Yeah, okay. Let's go through, like... I'll go to probably Mini. I'll say Mini here, so that's a good number. That's, actually, that's a lot. Erebus. You know, actually, Erebus having a skin's nice. This really does. Hmm. Really happy. It really does still keep the same color scheme. I like it. I like the little thing going around there too. That kind of fits her too. I don't know. Hmm. I think I might give this one an A just because I like it. Then again, I guess I'm, I have a slight bias towards actually liking the character now. She's not a bad character about it. Make the vid on skin ranking later. All right. All right. How about this? Let's not go all the way through them. Let's just go ahead and uh, p give me like five skins. Give me like five skins to look at. I do like the animation. I think that will give it an A too. Again, for me, an S is ones that ha ones that have like a lot of detail. Not necessarily just on the character art, but the backgrounds that they may have, or the, well, even that U forty seven party skin. Uh... You know what? I'm actually gonna go look through it this way. Rank monarch skins. <laughs> Rank the monarch skins. How many does she have? Baton or something. Forgot name. That's you got the name right. Okay, so I think I saw the first one was Baltimore's Ace skin. All right, I'll do like. F oh no, no. First one's U U forty seven. Ah, she's a sub. No, don't hit that button. Okay, we'll look. I'll look at five here. So U forty seven. And it's her party skin. Oh, okay, that one. It's the she's like leaning back against the or leaning yeah, sitting on this. I guess it's really sitting on it. I do like the very pirate feel it has. Then again, I noticed that was something that kind of happened with a handful of them. I wouldn't say it's too fan servicey, so that's a good thing. Okay. 
it's not a bad one. I think I'll give that one like a... I think I'll leave it at a B. I don't think it's... It's not bad at all. But it doesn't have anything that makes it really stand out, and it does I don't really know much... Maybe it's because I don't know her character that well. She's kind of an isolate, uh, like a, a lone, lone wolf kind of character, so... I guess it fits her. I don't know, I'll leave it at a B. I don't think it's bad. Rune. Which one of Rune, Sky? There's... I think there's like two or three of them. Lollies. Uh, that's... that's way too many. Okay, uh, Baltimore's A skin. I'll go ahead and look at Baltimore's A skin. It should be this one, Black Ace. Okay, uh, I know her personality pretty well. <laughs> so I need to actually cancel this dialogue line because it's gonna actually <laughs> go up against things here. Okay, hang on. Let me look at this. Okay. Um, let's see. It fits. I, de I definitely find the tattoos is a unique thing about her. I never really did. It actually kind of fits her well, so I definitely can't disagree with it. I like the. I like the confident personality she's showing there for sure. That's just kind of part of her there. Not too big on sports, so nothing really that spectacular about it. But I do definitely think it's a very fitting skin for her. You can just buy her, judging her off of her personality, so I'll get that one an A. Well, I was watching a stream in Japanese and had to, had to switch my mental lane. <laughs> it's alright, guy, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Rune has only one skin. Oh, I didn't know that. I do not have Richie's skin, no. So, oh, that did the stupid bug thing that it does. That's an old bug. Okay, do all the O skin. That's a lot of skins, guys. Okay, uh, all of Takao's skins. Hmm. Here come the people recommending Loli or Yandere skin. <laughs> you know, you probably have called a good number of them. Rune has only one skin, someone said, though. Alright, where is my Rune? I know she's, like, upper levels. There she is. She does only have one. Dark Red Grin. It get, I will say it gives a lot more life and personality to her in this skin. Sneaky little tanko, thanks for the sub. Definitely not bad. Definitely not bad at all. Um. Tankun. See what? What's the most amount? What do you mean, like which one? Do you have any protection from foxes? It's time for the mating season. Oh no, 13. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. It gives a bit more of a personality. I think that's a plus for her. I mean, this isn't a bad skin nonetheless, but this... I always like skins that are a bit more expressive. And this one definitely is one of them. It does cater to more of her, like, ador uh, her, her being cute. Rather than her being the crazy character she can be. Um, so... You know, I think I'll give this one a bit more of a fair thing, and I'll probably say... You know what? It's an A. I like it. Am I a big fan of Rune? No, not really. Or Ron, I actually don't know his name. But, I do like it. It's a good skin for her. It's kind of like how it is with Deutschland, where I'm just like, wow, Deutschland can be cute. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'll look at three more here. Let's see. Ashikara Festival. I do have a slight bias with Ashikara. I think she's adorable. I love her beach skin because of the smile on her face. What would you consider an S on the t off the top of your head? So an S rank skin for me would be one that's expressive, has a good amount of detail not only in the character itself but also in the background. Um, kind of making, kind of giving a whole story behind the skin too. So this one is probably going to be an A for me just because I think it's relatively cute. But if it, it fits her just because, well, it's Ashka being adorable, that's what I would say for that. If it isn't a Gyaru, you forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> name every skin. Oh god, I can't name every skin. I'm totally the guy that totally does that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but yeah, this one's really- I really just like the skin because of, like, the smile here. I mean, look how cute she is. Then again, it's the same- it's the same thing behind, uh... You know, behind, uh, Ibuki is she's got a lot of cute skins, that's part of the reason why I like them. So. Okay. Um... Oh wait, you said festival. Sorry. Sorry, this one. I like the, lo the a lot of color it has, for sure. A bit more expressive than her standard one, so not bad. I'd probably give this one an A, too. There's not a lot of crazy detail on it, but I do love the color, a lot of the color it has. It's kind of the same thing with Ryu Holes. I really do like the color amount, or amount of color it has. Oh, so you're oh, so you're a Nazarlane fan. Name every single ship. Uh, we talking all the ones at Global, we talking all the ones in CN. In which case, I'm still not going to do it because, God, we're going to be here for probably 10... Probably 10 hours. Okay, maybe more like two, but still. Name every gun. Uh, I can't even do that. <laughs> so, I give that one an A2. A lot of color, a little bit expressive, not as much as this one, as her beach one that she has, but it's still pretty good. Alright, let's see here. Um, do all your oath skins. That There's not that many, surprisingly. A lot of characters that have oath don't actually have oath skins. I think there's like three or four. Okay, let's see about the ace. Do all of the Takao skins. Okay. All of them. There she is. What's the most wholesome skin you own? That's a good question. I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's see. This one... I mean... <laughs> this one's not Life 2D. I was like, is this one Life 2D? I don't know if it is. Uh, definitely got the fan service appeal that actually loses points for me. <laughs> I'm not big on fan service. I don't- I'm not saying I hate it, but if it's the center point of the skin, that's not a major- that's not a major selling point to me. It's kind of part of the reason I hate Honolulu's, uh... Water hose skin. Uh... Definitely a bit angrier <laughs> pose for her. I'm not really sure why she's so angry about it. I guess maybe- maybe the line here makes the most sense. This is points in public, I'm sure. Probably, yeah, probably. I mean, it is a bit of a revealing, uh, a revealing swimsuit to say the least. A little curious for the first time player. Who would you recommend as a retrofit? Uh, who do you have, Justin? That's what, first question should be who do you have? That the game did it again. Uh, Lessons of Spring. Okay, I will give this one points. I love the uh, white and the white and red combo that they're doing here. Really not a bad one. I love the little dog leaving paw prints on the paper and he's stepping on the stamp. That's cute, too. Um. <laughs> so, this one... Uh, I'd say anywhere between a B or a C. Nothing really that stands out to me. Uh, this one right here... Uh, okay, loses points with my parents. Fair enough. But yeah, it really depends on who you have, Justin, so look at that first. I would definitely say, uh, out of the ones that are easier to get, Portland's not going to be a bad one. If you're looking for other characters that are relatively cheap to work with, uh, Furutaka and Kako can be pretty good if you have them. They're both commons. Uh, if you have Shoal she's not a bad character to retrofit at all. She's going to be a bit more expensive because she's already a... She's going to be like Portland, where they're both rares going to elites. But they're both really, really solid characters as well. Um, Leander is definitely not a bad choice either. I'm trying to think of other characters. <laughs> Ranger could be a pretty good one early game too. I mean, that's not a bad one either. So there's a good number of them, like in the, in the commons group, that is actually really, really, really solid characters. Shru uh, not Shropshire. Uh, Suffolk is actually not bad either. Suffolk's more of a uh, glass cannon character, but still not bad. Long Island, you, everyone has her. You're pretty easy to get her. So, but yeah, I really do like what I was asking. Anyway, with this skin, I do kind of like the red. I like the little the little gag they have with the dog. It's a cute little touch to it. Um, a little bit on the fan service side, but 
there's a lot of other elements to it that actually do make it a little bit better. So I'd probably say either an A or a B is fine for this one too. Fox Foxhound I wouldn't really say is that great of a retrofit. It's still not bad because retrofits are just permanent upgrades anyway, but still. I'm like very close to finishing. Well, you'll definitely get some good mileage out of Portland for sure. All right, school roommate, school girl skin. Never been a bad one. Not much to it. A little bit on the fan service side, but nothing that crazy, really. I'm gonna give it a B. There's, it's not really. There's not. It's not remarkable, but it's not like terrible. I think that's probably where I'm gonna put B's. B's and B's are gonna be the not really remarkable, but not terrible ones. C's are gonna be I don't like an aspect of them, or and then D's are like I absolutely hate them. And there are a few that are in that category. All right, full throttle charmer. This one's fan service. I don't even have to even say anything. All of these are fan service. <laughs> There's not much I can really say about these. They're all fan servicey as heck. Not about double D. Where are you going with that, Sven? Uh, this one clearly is going to be one I definitely don't think is going to be that great. I don't know. I'm not personally fond of it. So I'd probably say it's a C. It's more centered around the fan service side, which is not really something I care for. Now, the old skin. Obviously, everyone can get this one if they have the character, which is fine. Um, again, white and red, I actually really do like that setup with her. Uh, the cheapy is actually really funny because she looks a little smug in some of it. Um, I don't know. She's happy, so that's another good thing, too. Um, but honestly, compared to a lot of the other ones, it's not really that uh, crazy. I'd probably say this is an A at best. I don't think I can see it much uh, any higher than that. I'm not saying that the character's bad or the skin's bad, I'm just saying there's not a whole lot to it that makes it... Like, there's some oat skins that have some good things to them. I don't know how expressive this one is, if you actually, like, have it. But yeah, I really do like... I really do like the the, the color scheme that they use with her, the, the white and red. It's very good combo for her. It re works really well. So, it's in fan service. Her oat skin, yeah, it's definitely not. But then again, that's fine. That's nothing to think at all. Go rate both Monarch skins and buy her keep <laughs> Well, it's crime in these donations. Okay, okay, I'll get to keep on in a second. Anyway. Alright, uh, Gurn wants me to go do Monarch Simpix, so let me go take a look at them. Gurn the Monarch Simp. <laughs> we found the Monarch Simp. How many PR Simps do we have here? Don't answer that. Alright, White Warwick. You know, I like this one a lot. I actually really do like it. It still plays off of a lot of her original color scheme, which has got... It's, it doesn't have the gold as much, per se, but it still has the black and the white, and uh, does kind of still use it in a good way. I actually really do think it's a really pretty skin. So. Not too fan service -y either, so it's probably good. I'd give this one a solid A. But it's missing... It doesn't have anything really that impressive to it. So, that one gets an A, at least. Again, keeping to kind of the color scheme a bit. It's got the white. It's still got some of the darker colors in there for sure. Got the gold and the hairpin. And a little bit of the details there on the skirt, or whatever you want to call that. Um, I am glad that they are at least paying attention to reflections in the mirror. I think there is one or two of them that actually don't. And it kind of annoys me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like this one a lot, too. I think they're both pretty good. Uh, this one definitely has a bit more of an elegant feel to it, which I guess makes sense for a Royal Navy game. I think it makes sense for Royal Navy. They always kind of have that focus on elegance. <laughs> the hood always says, elegance isn't just for show. <laughs> so, I don't think this is bad at all. I think this is a pretty good solid one, too. I get this one an A as well. I think both the Monarchs are really good. So, and so Gurren doesn't feel like he's crying anymore. There you go. I'll put it on her, too. Let's not sit under a secretary. There you go. <laughs> Thought Gurren's not crying from that 30... 30 pound... I think that's pounds. I forget if it's pound or euros. I always forget what the icon between the two are. But yeah. this is They're both pretty good solid skins, for, for sure. Alright, and then... What was the one somebody said? I need two more. Let's see. 
Agano, I don't have Agano yet, so I can't really say anything. Buy one more. <laughs> Super Chat doing a thing again. And not necessarily. So, like, okay, let me show you something about minis. So, the reason I really like mini skin. Without all the expressions and the lines and everything it has, it's, it'd be an A. I would leave it at an A. But it's the small touches that they add to, with the skin. The lines, the expressions on it, that make it a lot better. So... Everyone knows she's a hyper serious character, but for those that d that know about this line, this is probably one of the biggest reasons why it's such a good, s why I really love the skin. How do you confuse euro with pounds? I don't see this both of the symbols often, so that's probably. I mean, it's kind of like. Actually, I don't really know if there's a good there's a good equivalency to it. But yeah, for those of you who really know the character, this is a huge character break for her, and that's one of the biggest touches to this that I absolutely loved and made me getting made the oath skin way way better. So this is part of the reason it, I would give this an S. It's because of that little thing like that. <laughs> it's not be yeah sure maybe you could argue I have a mini bias but at the same time I was gonna say it's an AO skin at the best but with that minor touch it throws it to an S Albacore party skin oh god oh yeah she does <laughs> well I will definitely say I appreciate the other expression she has besides the ADHD looking smile she has. <laughs> not, not, not to be mean to people with ADHD, I think everyone has that to a degree. Um, let's see, the black, it always worked out well on her for, I mean, for the color palette that she already has to begin with. So not bad at all. White though, definitely not bad there. Uh, not really sure what to think of that. <laughs> so, um... Hmm. I'd probably say B. It doesn't have anything that really makes it stand out like an A for me, but I think for where it is, it's pretty B. And the, the, the thumbnail, Taco, Takao Bell, oh god. The insta go to jail. No, it's the it's the oh you're fighting Taiho. Surprise! <laughs> no, seriously, it's like oh you're fighting Taiho. This is the face of people that are fighting Taiho and have Albacore as a sub support. <laughs> I guess fair enough. I don't know. All right, Richie skin. I know that was another one. I did talk about the tennis skin already. Um, this one isn't really too bad at all. I like a lot of the... There is a lot of colors on here. I do think there's a little bit of a problem with the... With the swimsuit color in their hair and all that. It's very, very heavy on the red side. Wait, hold up. Are you... Oh! Hold up. You're at love. I didn't... I've never seen your love line. Alright, that's kind of a, that's kind of cute. That's kind of a cute line. I'll give it that. <laughs> um I don't know, there's a lot of colors here, definitely don't really have any complaints about that. I do think they're, they could have probably chosen a different color for that, maybe gone... I don't know. I don't feel like this was the right color to use on this swimsuit, but it's okay. It's not, like, obnoxiously bright, or not obnoxiously, like, uh... I think they call it hot colors. Um, I will say one of the things I do like about this is some of the expressions she has on her live 2D form. Uh, can you stop? 
So I would give it an A. I'll, I'll give it an A. Yeah, I might go ahead and restart it. So. Cleve's party outfits are as... Okay, well, a lot of Cleveland's outfits are pretty freaking good. Um... I wish there was a way I could just see all the skins I have, specifically. Oh, no. Yeah, the bleh face is adorable. It's kind of funny. Warm. Yes, thank you. Warm colors. I was like, what What was the hot colors? Warm. Yeah, warm. You can. Uh, has... Well, that's has skin, as in has their own skin, so this may have characters that I don't actually have Yeah, Deutschland don't, don't, don't have skins for Deutschland. I guess I could go look at all the ones down here at the very end here. Because I know I can go scroll all the way down to the back. All the way to the back. All the way to the back. That's not the back. That's still not the back. God, we have a lot of skins in this game, don't we? My game is is crying. My game is actually crying. Okay, I got this spot. I got this skin in, in one of the bags. I think. I don't remember actually buying it, so I think it was one of the like. There's a good number of skins in here that are from the bag. I think Yamashiro's was is another one, for example. Uh, I think this one was a freebie. I don't remember. I don't remember which ones I got that were actually like, um, from bags and whatnot. I think that when I mean, that one's not a freebie, it's got a price tag to it. I think. I think ones that have price tags actually weren't viable. So I think this one was also a box one because I don't remember getting this one. This one chat made me get. I absolutely hate it. This one's probably on the C to D tier for me. It's not because I hate Honolulu. It's just I hate the skin. <laughs> I don't really like this type of thing for her. It's way too focused on fan service and I don't like it. I did get this one because chat kind of rushed, you know, not to blame chat or anything. Cleveland skin. Ah, this is a good one. It fits her personality. Definitely an A tier. Yes, of a... Yeah, the water hose, yeah. Vessel skin is S tier. Yes, the I, I love the smile on her face and I, I'll, I'll be little bits and pieces to it. This one's adorable. This one is also an S tier just because it's <laughs> one. It's a meme. Two. She's the most like the head pat is the most adorable animation of this one. I think. You bought Hanazuki skin? Uh, no, that was probably also a bag. This one, you have to have it, it's funny. Actually, I need to be switching to... Oh, I'm gonna be switching to the Christmas skin soon. Uh, yeah, I got this one. I, I kind of wanted it. Why, why would you not get that one? That one's pretty good. It's not S tier, it's an A. I'd say it's an A. Just because of, like, how silly it is. This one is definitely an A, if not going to an S. The reason I'm gonna say it's an S is because of the gag with her idol... With the animation here. Where the, like, all the guns come out of nowhere from behind her, and she's like, no, 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 no! <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I love this one. Also, Yamashita's adorable, but that's a different story. Enterprise, it's not bad. I don't think this is a bad skin for her. It definitely, like, it appeals to the part that she's kind of doing with the whole uh, being Santa Claus thing. I love all the little details to it, like the little uh, reindeer strapped there, the little bag. Um, really fits the whole story they were telling with her being Santa Claus. That's part of the reason I think it's an A. Noble ro Rogue, I think? Um, I really like this one. I actually really, really like this one. I got this one in the bag, but I was not upset about getting it in the bag. Um, Howl's relatively adorable, but... I don't know, there's a lot of things I really like about the design and all the stuff that went into the costume, so I think this is probably an A going into an S. I really just love the color scheme of it. Fits really, really well for her. So that one's definitely good. Okay, Hanazuki. Extremely colorful, not a bad thing at all. Full of definitely a very lively skin to say the least. Uh, I love the little 
I guess, inner tube with the, with the little Mal Malficer design to it. It's actually kind of cute. Uh, <laughs> that's funny too. Um, I don't know. I think this one's an A for sure. It's adorable. It's got a nice little. It's got a bunch of small little details to it, like this little Manju just chilling with the deal with it glasses. <laughs> Was that because of chat? No, um... I actually kind of wanted to have a different skin for Amagi, just so it was a... I've already talked about this one. So yeah, this one, I just wanted her to actually have a skin, so ha her having a skin was kind of nice to see it. Plus, it wasn't that bad. Um, it is a little fan service -y. I'm not too fond of that part of her, of that part for this skin, so I don't, definitely don't think that's a big thing there. Um, so I'd probably say this one's honestly a B. And I'm saying this as a, as a guy who's oath Amagi. <laughs> Ah, this one. I don't know. I like this one. It fits her. I'd probably say it's an A, though. Nothing that crazy. It really just... It's really more of it just kind of fits her personality and everything. Okay. Oh, God, the game. All right. All right. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to say this is an S. Maybe. <laughs> First off, the smile is probably the most precious thing here. Uh, color scheme, I actually really do like. It's always fit her really well, the white and blue. Um, there isn't really anything too crazy going on here in the background, though, so... I w I'm probably going to say it's an A going to S, but I won't say it's an S. Probably in between the two. I would like a little more detail. The S, the S, I already know where the S is gonna go to. Ah, this is another one of the bag skins. Uh, Southampton. It's cute. I don't know really much about her, so I can't really say how well it fits her personality. It's expressive for sure. Not a bad at all. Not a bad thing at all. I love the little uh, musical note there. For sure. I don't know too much about. It. I love the, the giant snow manju here. It's relatively funny too. So. It's not bad. I'd give this one probably a... I'll say a B. I don't think it's anything too impressive. Uh, Neptune. Alright, alright. This one is automatic S tier, and it's not even because it's Neptune. It's because it's... <laughs> I think we can all agree on this one. <laughs> I think we can all agree on this one. <laughs> No, in all seriousness, though, aside from the obvious, the lovely meme that is Box Spite, um, the color palette works amazing on her, which is interesting, considering I don't think she actually had this much red at all in her costume. Maybe I'm wrong. I think she was mostly made look. But it worked really well for her with the Christmas color scheme and the blue hair, which was kind of surprising. Um, I love the little antlers on it. It's really a pretty solid skin if you if you were are overlooking the war spite the, or the box bite there. So I'm gonna still say it's an S though, because this this meme just adds so much to it. Okay, this one. Um this one is definitely an A. This one is an A this one's A to S. This one's more of the A. There's nothing too crazy about it. It's still adorable. Um that's about as much as I can really say about it. Then again, that could, this could be my Ibuki bias. <laughs> Box Spite always wins. Oh, we want SS tier. I guess we could say SS tier. You know, let's do that. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is really the A for almost. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into some of my old characters, which that's going to have biases already. Uh, Shokaku. I oh, don't know. I really like this skin. I love a lot of the animations to it. It is it is definitely fan servicey. I will say that live 2D animations aren't too bad either. Though I think the uh, cur the cursor trace is kind of a little much because <laughs> the face really freaks out when you do the cursor tracing. Um, definitely not bad though. I'm gonna say it's a <laughs> T for your tear for turkey. God, that's so mean. I'm gonna say it's a solid A, even with the live 2D aspect to it. Ceremonial Crane, like this one too, definitely an A as well. Um, I really like the light and dark themes they have for these two. It's like that another thing I like about this is they are, not only are they 
Um, like it pl it plays off of the two like the differences between the two of them. One's more offense, one's more defense. So yin and yang kind of plays there a little bit. If you guys never really know, thought about that. Um, but yeah, still she I, I really do like Zuikaku in this uh, color scheme as well. Plus the black fox thing is kind of cute. I don't know. Definitely an A though. Hornet. I like this one a lot too. I like this. This was a bag one. But I really do like this one. Need for mobile, I think. It is, but the head still kind of looks around, and unless it's handled properly, it kind of like squishes and, and stretches a little too much. Not a bad thing. Definitely not a bad thing at all. <laughs> it's just sometimes it can be really uh, looking on the face deformation. But yeah, this skin definitely is a solid A for me. I like this one a lot too. I feel like I'm stealing Meta's idea. But I hope he doesn't mind, considering people are wanting my opinions on it. <laughs> alright, alright. Speaking of wholesome skins, I think this is another one we can add to that list. We Okay, granted, maybe I have a bias towards her, sure. But she's so cute in this one. However, it doesn't have anything crazy to it, so I'm going to say it's an A as well. But it's still a really, really adorable one. A lot of the lines on it, too, are really cute, too. Um, I already talked about this one. I don't know. I, th this was one of the laugh. I think I got this one from the bag, too. This was the bag for that one around that time. Um... <laughs> what can I say about this one? It's adorable. It's a good laughy skin. It definitely is a really good laughy skin. The chibi is also really good. Um, is it S tier? Probably not. I don't think it has that enough of a... It doesn't stand out that hard. But it is definitely a solid A as well. There aren't other ideas that other YouTubers... I'm not aware of it. I mean, granted, I don't know a lot of uh, Ozilane YouTubers. I know a good handful from the... the what is it? The uh, Among Us collab we did a while back ago. But I don't know that many. So... I know there's probably a good number of them that have been kind of emerging lately. Which is fine. I, don't, I definitely don't mind there being more people doing content for this game. So... It just means more people to collab with, potentially. <laughs> so, definitely not a bad thing at all. But yeah, Laffy's, that's an A as well. This, okay, this Victorious one is adorable. I honestly prefer this one over her standard default one. I just kind of like the color scheme way better than the solid, you know, the white with her overall gimmick. I really like this one way better. <laughs> it's a spicy meter. <laughs> He's a spicy... I definitely would say this is probably the cuter one between them all. Good, good, no Oather. Everyone wants me to Oather because I've already Oathed Formidable and Illustrious, so I bet that one... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, am I gonna have to... Am I gonna... Are you guys gonna make me do, uh, Oath Indomitable if she ever comes in? Hey, Alexis. Okay. Alright, alright. Now hear me out on this one. This one is an S. I'm even willing to save an SS because it is a door. It is. It's so good. <laughs> here is here is the one that I will say is the S, if not SS. It's less so about it being, um, like the color scheme's fine. All that's good about it. There's no. It doesn't really stand out too much outside of that. The design's great. The chibi's good. I love the little uh pet she's got with her too. Um, but what really, really puts this one into the S, S category is the live 2D animations that it comes with. The head pat is probably one of the most lethal ones here, too. Um, Fubuki's is adorable, but then so is Ibuki's. What is it with the Bukis, now that I think about it? The Bukis having the most adorable head pats. Is this, is this a trend that I should be worried about? How many other Buki... How many other people... How many other characters... Does the Sakura Empire have with Buki in the name? <laughs> Let's show the sneezing. So, but yeah, this is this is definitely a good one to say at least. Why does this one say I don't own it yet? Weird. So, but yeah, this is definitely an S. I will definitely say that one is an S up there too. Ah, this one. <laughs> I like this one too. <laughs> 
it's a lot it's a very different take on War Spite's personality, which is a nice thing. I love it for sure. Um Nothing too particularly crazy to stand out about it. All the characters do have this Christmas background, so it doesn't stand out there. Uh, I would say this is a good A. Definitely a solid A for it, too. Ah, uh, Fumizuki. I don't remember how I got this one. Was it a bag one, maybe? I have no idea. It fits her for sure, though. She's absolutely adorable, but that's really about it. I'm gonna say a B. Definitely gonna say B. I don't know why I have this one, honestly. <laughs> I don't, or I don't, I don't know how I got. It. I, I, I'm going to assume it's a bag. All right, and the newest skin, Queen Elizabeth. If you guys have finished all the painting ones, then this one should be already in your uh, possession. I like this one a lot. It fits her so well. The chibi's a little weird with the forehead. I don't know if that was intentional or not. The forehead, the head feels a bit tall than taller than it really should be. But other than that, it, it's really funny because you've got the two, uh, you've got the two manju trying their best to open the school gate, which is really, really, really good. Hachama cosplay. Is it Hachama? I actually don't know what Hachama's like. I don't watch the, the Hollow Livers that much, mostly because I just don't have time. It's not that I hate them or anything, I just don't have time. But yeah. Those are all the skins I apparently own, I guess. I don't think I have any more. Actually, it might be missing all the ones that I got for free, which is like 90% of the Signet ones. And some of the Yamashiro ones. Alright, anyway. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and restart. I'm gonna restart Blue Stacks real quick. Because I feel like it needs to do that real quick. So here, look at Neptunia for a bit. Let me, let me relaunch Blue Stacks. Because I feel like it really is struggling. Because <laughs> it's just like, it is like chugging on some of those, which it really usually isn't. Nimi painting skin. Uh, which one was that? I don't know. I have her O skin. That one's kind of hard for me to take it off. Is that is Brun sitting on her hat? No, it's just underneath her legs. She's sitting on like a I think it's a I think it's a couch they're all sitting on. So there we go. What is your victorious affinity at? I think it's at uh friendly. I don't think it's not that it's not like crazy high. Played the DOA stream. I actually have not done anything deal. Uh, well, DOA isn't even there right now, is it? There's a that's a couch. I think so. It kind of looks like a couch. If not, it's like a bunch of like pillows put on the floor. It does seem like it's a bit elevated. It might be on the floor. I can't, I can't really tell, but it looks like Benan's uh, legs are actually probably not on the. Oh, this is an adorable looking. I didn't notice this earlier. This is kind of cute. Look at this. I don't remember this. Is this a new one? I don't remember this one. It has to be an older one because there's none of the newer characters in it. Azuli, good, good question. I have no idea whose voice that was. There's about 400 some ships. I have no idea which one I can. I can't tell them all apart. But yeah, this is a really cute loading screen. Azuma looks a a bit too young. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, is it? <laughs> yeah, Yuki Kaze definitely got a pretty cute picture in this one. I really gotta say, I like a lot of the loading screens that actually really focus on these kind of things. Like this, this is the kind of illustrations I really like more over the uh, overtly fan servicey ones. Not to mention, I think YouTube likes them better. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have known this, but the last two out of, two out of the last three Ozzer Lane streams have been uh, uh, limited monetization just because of, <laughs> I think a lot of the fan service going on, which I guess should be expected at this point. Look at that pouting. Look at that pout. That's a pout. That's a real pout.
All right, anyway, back to the grind. Hopefully my game isn't going to freak out more. Oh, is it three? No, it's five. Wait, that is five, hit four. There we go. Hey, Sucker Empires. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's to be expected, I guess. When the game goes heavy into fan service, I guess you really can't, like, deny that being a thing. Granted, what, screens like this are fine. I don't think it's gonna be a problem at all. I'm, this one's probably gonna end up getting limited monetization anyway, just because of the screen- This because of all the skins we were looking at. You know I can. Let me, um... Tell you what, once I finish this, I need to get Monarch to level 100. So, Monarch needs to go to level 100, so I'll probably focus on, like, chapter 10 or chapter... I think chapter 10 should be fine. Um, but yeah, I'll focus on chapter 10. Grinding for a little bit just to get some characters up, because I do want to get some more of my higher level characters up in terms of their levels. I might actually keep Perseus in as well, because she's level 91. But yeah, once I finish this grind, I'll, I'll, be, I'll move on to that and I'll bring Monarch in. I may use Howe even, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, don't worry, don't worry, Gurren, I'll get to it. Let me finish this up real quick, though. Because I don't think I'm really going to get, uh, Monarch any any real XP here. <laughs> Being ten levels higher than the enemies here. This is great. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, really, all the healers are great. Ryuko's probably a really, is a really solid one. Unicorn and Soho also are, aren't bad. They're nice side grades of each other, really. Gurren and How with Monarch. I can see that. I bet Warspite, Warspite, Monarch, and How are probably a good trio now. I just, I just rhymed there. That's kind of funny. Finishing my Warspite retro. She's halfway. She's been halfway finished for months. Well, that's good. After the Iris event got a rerun, as more people would have Richie JB. I don't think it's gonna change too much. What is what is the new meta? Is there is there a new PvP meta? I mean, I'm assuming Shinano has some involvement, because being her being a UR and everything now, and not to mention heavy armor, a carrier that's heavy armor. I don't know how good she is though. I'm assuming she's pretty solid. I guess if, if if Meta was here, he'd be able to answer that. I know I think a few people here can definitely uh, mention it, but I'm not too big on the odds of PvP Meta. Suzuki, Suzuki and Shinano. I mean, I'm sure there's more than that. Is Shina Kagi Kaga a thing? I don't know. Trip. I don't think Triple Carrier is generally something people do, especially with the likes of War Spite in, in existence. I was gonna say, Meta, Meta does a lot of the PvP like meta analysis videos, which is definitely helpful if you're really big in PvP, which uh, you're a you're a very very small group of people that really take that seriously, which isn't a bad thing. It's just I wish there was more to it to bring me into it more. But there really isn't. <laughs> I don't have that much of an appeal to it. Just ship simulator. You know, we can go with that for now. It's not going to be that for long. Merits, um, I mean, hello. Hi, Nukiyashi. Also, yeah, merits, sure, but once you really get the major things out of it, it's like, eh. That's kind of how I am for that. It's just like, uh, I got, I got, I got South Dakota. I've got Eldridge. I think there's actually another character in that store now. I think it's, it's Albacore. I probably don't have any rotation, but I know there's like a third, there's like another, another one or two SRs that were added to that pool, which, yeah, it's worth getting them if you don't have them, but it's still a case where it's like, I, don't, I already have them, so I'm just like, eh. Suggested for PvP, don't. Nagato Amagi Shinano Azuma Yukaze Jin, yeah, that sounds about right. Sento. 
That would make sense. Nagato and Amagi oh, still being reign supreme, and instead of Hyuji, it's now, it's now uh, Shinano because she's a heavy armor carrier. That probably is decent compared to like Taiyo and any of the illustrious class. It really depends, probably like partially too, on what what planes you're using on Perseus. If you have good planes and good gear, really anyone can shine with it. Grenville, you got Chuck Grenville. They had a Grenville. Oh, I already have Grenville, I think. That's why I fight. Yeah, they're like 2,000 though. They're not that like that crazy. Yeah, still, it's a, it's a free cube, which definitely helps if you're short supply on cubes. Yeah, that would help. Definitely having more more reasons to trade. Like, I guess the more people you bring into PvP, obviously the more difficult the competition will start to be. I feel I feel sorry for you too. I know I've oathed you, but first off, your plans aren't even gonna live, and now, now things are gonna get real bad, like really, really bad. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you both. <laughs> what main gun do you have on Richie? Uh, four oh six, I think. I have to look at it. I'm not surprised you have you. You're 110 already. Jeez. You're tied with your sister. Let me actually take a look. Yeah, if you need cubes, by all means, do it then. I think I have 406. Yeah. I have 406 on her. So that should be that case. Uh, Grenville, though, I do have her. I know I, know I have her. She is an adorable looking destroyer. I know she's a little bit different. I just gotta find her again, wherever she may be. I don't even remember what faction she. I think she's Royal Navy. There she is. Yeah, artillery command is something that's a little bit different. Let me just see what her final stats are, because I don't even have her limit broken. 85 firepower with artillery command. 35% efficiency, 30 for torpedoes. So torpedoes are kind of bad. Bush <laughs> thick. Was left out whenever they added the WC current. Just a permanent. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Oh god. Yeah, she's not, uh... I don't know. She doesn't seem like anything too outstanding on paper. She's got the defense side to her again, but that, that's really about it. Unless I missed something, which I don't really see anything fancy. Might be the, th <laughs> the thickest lolly ever. By the way, I'm not surprised. I could definitely tell with the facial expression that it's it's the same artist as Timmy. Timmy, though, Timmy be her own. Timmy's her own tier. That's the thing about the Timmy. Let's go find this adorable destroyer real quick. There she is. Look at look at look at how happy she is. <laughs> Look at his face. Look how happy she is. There's some fan arts with Grenville, Timmy, and Opp I don't even know how to say that other one's name. Oppenatari? 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 But yeah, she is the happiest. She's the happiest little destroyer anyone can have here. Do I have all the collab ships? I do for right now, yes. P tier for protect. <laughs> You know, that's fair. 
Okay, you need a lot of destroyers. Let's go dump all these in here. I don't want to give you any of the carriers. I don't think you need cruiser, but I'll double check. A penetra? A penetra? There we go, I'll dump all the remaining cruisers into here for that boost to there. <laughs> Tashkin doesn't need protect. She protects already. So. Alright, carriers. Uh, I don't know what carriers need enhancements because I have so few of them that really do need it. Chitose, I think. Yes. I still think Chioda looks like uh, a red-haired Yamashiro. That's never gonna change. I'm not feeling better. Yeah, I got a lot of sleep, and I think that really helped. <laughs> I, s I slept 12, 13 hours last night. That made a pretty huge impact. More than I really wanted it to, but... More, more hours than I wanted to sleep, but, you know, I probably needed it if I slept that much. I don't know if we're gonna get another Hollow Life. I'm a little worried about that. Aqua is a useless water goddess. You mean blue thing. I mean, it did kind of still did. I woke up at like five in the morning. <laughs> I mean, I do feel bad because I kind of, I, I missed an Ozilian login, and I, I'm glad I actually recorded Contingency Contract before, uh, before I went to sleep. Because <laughs> I would have missed both. No, I would have missed both. I actually would have had like an hour left of Contingency Contract for the daily. I need to do the daily today. French bias is acceptable in work in worship games. What event do you want a rerun of the most? Do you I kind of want to see Swirling Cherry Blossoms because I want to see if they actually will consider adding in Shimkaze. If I, if it's not that, then. Probably French event because I want to see them add Pola. Can't leave Zara without Pola. It's like having a Shokaku without Zuikaku. Oh, wow, Emil, you, 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 you MVP there. Nice. Oh, wow. You really, really carried. Any tip on Risk 8 Area 59 runs? Uh, ruins. I... Don't even know what today's modifiers are. So I'd have to take a look at it. <laughs> Need the pasta boats. Zara is a pretty good ship for sure. I like her shield skill. <laughs> really? You can't really see it? It partially is probably due to where your finger... If you're like playing on phone, it can be hard to see the aim because of it being here. The nice thing is you... like. People probably don't realize you can move these item you can move these around. If you really wanted to. Yeah, like I also kinda want people on mobile to actually get a feel of the cinnamon rule that is Shimakaze and why she's an absolute cinnamon rule. <laughs> Like, if you take whatever destroyer in Ozilane right now that you think is the most innocent, adorable cinnamon roll, 
and realize immediately that Shimakaze is going to dethrone them with that. You got Drake last week. Nice! I haven't even touched PR3 yet. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's probably it. Is It's like... I'm not saying this will help, but if you really, really wanted to... Um, I think it's this. Yeah, you can edit... So, like, you can edit this. Like, put this up here if you want to or whatnot. Yes, confirmed. But yeah, you could edit where your controls are and everything. It's one of the nicer things they allow for, uh... That not a lot of people use this. I don't know that many that have. So I know if you're on, I know I've seen people on tablet where they put everything on one, like they move all these to the right more, or to the left. Sorry, not the right. But yeah, this is something you can definitely do. Better than a certain French cinnamon roll. Yeah, I would say she's better than that. Hi, hey, Izzo line. That could be her skill activation line. That would be adorable was her activation line. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm curious about. A collab catch up? Like a rerun? Also, this was 3050 If you mean like a rerun, I don't know if they'll do reruns. If they're gonna do, I don't know about a catch. What, what do you mean by catch up? She has queen forehead. Oh god. Uh, no, like, in all honesty, I'm, I'm curious as- So, like, I do want to see her in the game. I do want to see Shimakaze in the game, but at the same time, um, they're gonna have to figure out her skill set. Because if they fall off Crosswave, she'll be- She's an, she's a, uh, she's gonna power creep Cleveland. <laughs> if they follow it off of, uh, Crosswave skills. <laughs> Tatsuya Shibawai. <laughs> what do you mean, can I oath again? Also, uh, May, what, what specifically were you meaning, man? Were you meaning, like, a rerun? If you meant, like, a rerun, I don't think, know if they're gonna do any of them. Collabs are the ones, one, like, events that I don't really know if they're ever gonna do reruns on. There are some I could potentially see being done. However, that list shortened recently. <laughs> Mostly because I'm not sure how they're gonna how, how the reaction will be. How many both sides? I wouldn't rule out another hollow eye thing of any sort, but it'll be a while before anything comes out. I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to even say there would be one for hollow. Not a rerun, just a banana to get missed ships. Oh, to get the mystical. I. Mm. I mean, the Neptunia ones really weren't that strong. I will say that. Like, you're not missing anything from the Neptunia banner. Uh, he's an I. I don't think there was really anything major unless you had all the ships together, because one of them actually was decent if you had all the ships. Uh, oh, I've had some good ones. Fubuki is a strong one, and I think Aqua was a pretty good one too. But I'm 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 a little worried again with with Hollow Life uh, collab just because of the fallout of the last little dramatic thing that happened. It would depend on how uh, CN would react to it, which I I got bad feeling about it. Not nationalist. It's still the fact that you know they they'd face some probably pretty bad criticism on their CN side. Which, generally, from what I've always understood, there's a lot more revenue on the Asia side. So, that's why I'm like, I don't necessarily know if that would be good. I'm not saying we shouldn't do it. I would love to see a Hall Life collab. But at the same time, I don't know how it would do. Because, like, let's be honest, what would be more hilarious than watching Gargara, uh, as a submarine, are having a fight with, I think, what, U110? Is it U110? I always get their numbers crisscrossed. Garlic bulb girl. Gar, Gar looks at her and is like, I'm a shark. And the other one's like, I know, I'm a shark. <laughs> oh no, I got the bug! No, I did the live TD bug! Dang it! <laughs>
Yeah, that happens. But yeah, like, that would be really, really, really good. No, no, no. So, okay, for those that don't know how what how that bug works, if you have any live 2D characters at all as secretaries, let them load in first. Remember to always let that live 2D character model load in, because it's going to keep trying to load it in, and if you click on the dock or any other screen to, to move to that screen while it's starting to load in the live 2D model, it will hang like that and softlock itself. So, if you have live 2Ds, let them load in first. Always remember to do that, otherwise it's a, it's a forced reset. Cash can review win. Uh, when I get around to her, I actually don't know where she's on the list. I think she's relatively low. I might do as a random, though. I'll have to see. I have to kind of play, use her a bit more in combat. So. But yeah, again, here is the reason why Ibuki is an S tier skin. Right here. Brace yourselves. You may also need some insulin. Look at that. Mm, that's good. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> also, Ryder, thanks for the $2, though. That is the reason why it's an S tier. And if you wanted a skin to go for, well, there there's a good reason to go for that one. <laughs> my wallet can't. Too wholesome for my critical damage. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's already crying. Yeah, I know. It's just at the same time, you know. Uh, so like the Hollow Life thing, I'm, as much as as much as I want, I'm worried. If they do it, more power to them. But I don't know how Cian's going to respond to it, and that's what worries me the most. Because I am looking to them as I, I lo I'm looking at their situation from like a financial business perspective. I don't know how much money they make off the inside. And that could hurt them pretty bad if if uh, that happens. I don't know how much, and I do worry about that specifically. So. I don't know. If they did do it, I'd probably be one to kind of <laughs> make sure they're doing okay. That'd be my bigger concern. Is wait for the wait to see how the fallouts or the the reactions are. What's wrong with CN server? I don't know if it's necessarily going to be what's wrong with CN server. I just know that CN has not responded well from the Hollow Life situation, and I'm pretty sure the loss of Hollow Life CN was not also something they're pretty happy with. But you know, it's probably f I, I I really don't even know how to, how to even close that part out. Is like, is it was it a good thing? Was it a bad thing? I mean. <laughs> I don't know. The community basically looked at, at the CN side and said, no, stop it. Hey, Eepos. I don't know. It's a very, it's a very, very rough situation. If you if you guys aren't caught up with it, uh, I mean, I would say it might be, you might want to look into it a bit and see why, but, um, I'd rather not get too involved on that situation. <laughs> Oh, right. I'm a bully. Maybe just a JP Ian rerun. Yeah, but then that'd be... I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how that... How, like, I, I feel like Cian would still not like that. But then again, that's... What do you do, you know? Like I, I totally want a Hall of Life collab. I would love to see some of the new Hall of Life characters in it because I, I, I don't know them that well. But even then, you know, I, like for example, Gargara would, like I said, Gargara versus uh, V U one ten, that would be a, such a hilarious con like little one panel, two panel comic to make if somebody really wanted to dive into that. <laughs> 
It'd be pretty good. I'm already subscribed to your channel. Oh, well, thanks. We're talking about hash browns. No, we're not talking about hash browns. As much as I want hash browns. God, you're gonna make me hungry for hash browns. And I don't want to hate them, because they're actually like... Like, maybe one or two of them is good, but when you have too many of them, it gets, it's not good for you. All right, three more three more runs, and we are done with this grind. So that's kind of why I'm just like, you know, on the single daily rolls, I just dumped to the 10k. Oh no, I already did my I did my so like I don't have the build daily, or yeah, see, like I still had the. Okay. That's fine. Ah, oh, it's county class! <laughs> Alright, chat. Who is it? Which one of the county class is it? Let's see who wins. Which county class? I'm gonna say Ken. I'm gonna say it's a Ken. I see a lot of Kents. There's one London. Suff uh, Suffolk. Oh, yeah, London could be in here, can't she? Norfolk. Ah, Norfolk. Not a bad call. Norfolk's cute. She's the kind of character that, like, you need to ha give her, like, a head pat. Or just a reassurance pat. And then tell her, and then protect. That's the most important thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see who it is. London's 140. I don't remember if it's 130 or 140. I think it's 140, actually. Suffolk! It's Suffolk! So if you said, if you said our, uh, cheap maid, you got it. So those that, those that guessed cheap maid, there you go. You know what, let's let's do two more for let's do two more for chat. Two more for chat. There we go. Oh god, two more county class! <laughs> Oof <laughs> It's both Kents. Alright, do we want to guess on this? <laughs> you get a county class, and you get a county class. As a smiling Norfolk. Oh, yes, it did, and I loved it. One of them's a Kent, you know. Well, let's see. Let's see what it is. Where's the Kent? The other one's. Th people are saying Shropshire is the other one. Konnichiwa. Oh, Dorsetshire. So if you don't have this character yet, she is a archi uh, an archive character. You have to unlock first. You have to get the you have to get the county class up there first. So well, that's a it's a rare one, yeah. But hey, or not a rare. It's a you know what I mean. <laughs> rare is a rarity, so I can't really say that now, can I? Dang it, it's uncommon, I guess. And the other one is... Oh, you got Shropshire, right? The not-so-annoying Norfolk. I mean, she, Norfolk's not annoying, though. She's really not. Not even mad. You really can't be mad at that. There's some medals for us. Alright, actually, you know, I should actually take a look at some medals. What, what can I get for some medals? Let's see. Erebus Coffee. Hey, look, there's the Kent. <laughs> uh, whoa. Z46 in the metal shop? Really? You know what? Give me that. I just realized that's there. Well, hey. You know what? Huh. I'm actually not mad at that. I don't think I've fully limit broken Z46 yet. Yeah. And I had a spare Z46. I was actually gonna wait till I got another another copy, but hey, that'll work. That works. That saves me on the SR bowlings. 
語るに及ばない些細なことであろう指揮官の聞くばるには I'll take that! <laughs> That's Fully Limit Break Z46. Nice. I'll take that. I was like, oh, hey, hey, cool. I, th that, 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 that's good to know. Okay. Uh, Prince, yeah, so if you're on a different server, if you're not on Aurora, it's gonna be a different character. I will say that. I just realized I got all my cubes back from that. Like you needed to save SR Bullying's lol. I mean, I kinda actually do. My my SR Bullying population's low to it right now. Like, that's still relatively low. That's enough for two full limit breaks for new for the next event, if we have to worry about limit breaking. Uh, max limit breaks. I think you usually need about three of them for... I think there's three SR... There's usually two or three SRs per event. Which generally you have to get them uh, fully limit broken for the uh, banner points. How many sandies am I at? Uh, it hasn't really changed, but let's take a look. We have three. We have four rows, so we have four rows of sandy, which means twenty-eight, and we have the three here, so we are at thirty-one spared sandies. Delicious. <laughs> 31 spare Sandies, 2 spare Shunger Laws, a Massachusetts, a Illustrious, and I actually need to probably should start getting the Muse characters leveled. Don't worry about the sand. Oh yeah, see here's the here's the bullying population, which I actually can uh, keep a spare of. So I doubt it will be it will need MLB ships. I doubt there will be a frame. Yeah, it might just be a trophy. Still, it's good to keep at least a good num a good number of uh, SR bullions spared, uh, spare SR bullions saved up because they aren't. The it's not very easy to get a build uh, to build a uh, good amount of them. Uh, you get one every other, I think, two or three days here that comes right into this slot. Um, you can get it through merit grinding. You can get it through um, the weekly that get after you do ten weeklies. There's a good number of ways you can get them, but, uh, so keeping a spare set is usually a good thing. Why so many Sandys? Research purposes. I forgot it's so many Sandys. Look, they are very, very special. Wait, I restarted my game, so I have to now reset the, uh, fleet of music. There we are. You lack you are bullions. I am saving on the space. So, chess. What? Wait, that's not what I want. I want chat. Head down. <laughs> so, what, uh, in regards to the SR, uh, or the UR bullions, uh,. I can almost get two of them. I can almost get two of them, which is not bad at all. Chess. Oh, hi, Kuro. <laughs> your name's called Karora in here. <laughs> so you have, you've got, whatever your name is on Discord, which I forgot, there's like, Conductor or something, Cheeto. You have Karora here, <laughs> and your Amelia Watson here. <laughs> How much money would it cost you to get you to retire all those dupe sandies? Why would you do that to me? Why would you bully me like that? Call it your sandbox. <laughs> My sandbox. That's amazing. No. No. <laughs> But yeah, I unless until they add more URs, there's no reason for me to get UR bullions right now. I have one, but I'm leveling her for me purposes, which I actually kinda have a reason for it. 
You know, well, you know what would be really funny? If there was a hidden skill with all three bullions in your vanguard, and they actually say something like, they actually become functional as ships. That would be so good. Also, why is Ibuki not cold in that outfit you have her wearing? It's a... It, I, I don't know. That it's uh, Wouldn't it be a pretty comfortable... I mean, it seems like it's got pretty good insulation. Oh, no. It, it's sleepless. I mean, she's got whatever these are. Which are kind of... I, I would say sleeves, but I actually don't even know what those really are. I'm sure there's a name for them in the actual culture, but uh, I don't actually know what they're called. Oh yeah, there's the sneeze. For those that haven't seen the sneeze. There you go. <laughs> Stop flexing cuteness. Is that something you could really flex? She's just normally cute. It's kind of hard for a character to not flex being cute. That is, that's a wallet destroying sneeze. <laughs> There's the insulin. Yeah, people are probably gonna need some insulin after that. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! I don't think that really works here. I just did it all hit straight to the wallet. Is that a little warship's joke? You're killing the chat with that. No, if you want me to- look, Okay, you know what, here. Let me, let me, let me do this. L let me just- let me hang on. Okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm warning. I'm warning you guys now. We're about to. I'm, I may be committing chat aside here. So I am going to bring out all the head pats. So here we go. This is gonna be potentially brutal. We'll see. All right. Let's see. First one I need to grab. Uh, I need to grab Spee. Let me just grab Spee. Let me grab. Uh, let's see. Where's the other? One? Where's Where's Buki? Where are you, Buki? Why am I blind? I swear I'm blind. There's Buki. Okay. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I need to, hang on, I need to rescale this. Let me just zoom in on this. Put that right there. Save. Yes. Okay, no, I need to fix that a little bit more. Let's move that a little bit to the right. Perfect. Yes. Alright, so. Fubuki. Remember how I said this is an S tier skin because of the head pat? There you go. There you go, chat. Now you gotta live with this. Misel, thanks for the sub. This is the first of many head pats. <laughs> this is one of the few Live 2D skins I bought immediately upon release. Alright, head pat number two. This one. We've already seen this one. I don't think I really need to go there now, do I? But it's okay, we're gonna go there anyway. Because I might as well. We're doing it again. That face. All right, and then last but not least is Spee with her little ruffling the hair and the blushing face. <laughs> Just keep head patting. Just keep head patting. Just keep head head patting. I feel like Egg may or may not like this. I don't know. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> so yeah, those are three of them. I, I, there's, there may be more. I don't know. I know Akashi has one. That's a whole different story. I could do. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's get, let's get Akashi. Come here, Akashi. Let's go ahead and just let's 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 go all the let's go all the way on this. Akashi. All right, skins. No, 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 no. This skin settings. Skins. Normal Akashi. Turn off skin settings. Perfect. Rotate this one, and then you don't even need to do it. Also, uh, also, what a funny on, on a funnier note. You actually can't really zoom in or zo or scroll up or down. You can only move left or right. So the zoom in is actually really terrible. But you guys get this. There you go. There is all the head pads. There is all the head pads that I currently have. <laughs> I feel like chat maybe you're like I need to <laughs> there's like I need to now buy these skins or I need to get a kashi. <laughs> you couldn't do it. What are you gonna do? You're literally sending me money right now so I can buy Taiyu own skin. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Cheeto, please. Oh yeah, is hers light 2D? Taeyeon's pretty cute. I'm gonna go to that. But yeah, never, never, never be prepared for how how adorable some characters can be in this game. Oh, oh well, that's unfortunate. No, no, you still got one. Nice, nice, JB. Nice. <laughs> I need a shot of insulin after that. Aurora, okay, uh, uh, Aurora. Well, not Aurora. Aurora actually has a really, really cute skin. I love her, a lot of her skins. They're really adorable. Oh, wait, she just has. She has two or three. I forget she has two or three. Any of head pets? I don't remember. What factions are there in this game? Uh, there's a good number of them. You've got, uh, obviously the Eagles, which represent the U.S. You've got Sakura Empire, which is Japan. You have Royal Navy, which handles the U.K. I think more, probably more England than U.K. Um, you have, I'm gonna forget, Iron Blood, which is Germans. You've got, uh... Iris Orthodoxy and I'm reading the name of the other one. Or not Iris. Wait, crap. Iris Libre and the other one was. Ah, oh, God, I forgot the I forgot both of their names. Ah, uh, Vitia, yeah, Vitia. Those are the French. You have the Sardinian Empire, which is the Italians. You've got the, uh, you have a Russians, which I believe are called Northern Saint Union, or Northern Saint Parliament, Saint sorry, Northern Parliament. Saint uh, Dragon Empire, which is Chinese. I, am I missing one? Am I missing one? Vitsia is France. Then there's the sirens, which I don't actually think they have a faction, or a, like a or, or IRL equivalent. I'm not going to include collab ships. Dragon and Bree. I've done it. Chino, please. <laughs> Imagine I've never used the super chat feature like to actually send money. 
before. Is, is it like difficult? I don't really know much about it on you guys' end. Like, what do you guys have to like normally do for it? I'm not telling you to like tell me your credit card for me. I'm just saying like, <laughs> like, is it just like simply input important credentials in and then that's it? Is it that simple? Or is there like like a whole bunch of stuff you have to do, like sign up or do some silly thing? This is a pastry apple. Oh, really? That's nice. They put credit info in the bottom. Oh, well, that's simple. <laughs> I guess it's the $20 budget. Switch hat wasn't available. Oh, really? Huh. Small launch ceremony. Oh, boy. We may be able to get a ship out of that. You know what? We've got time. we got time. Oh yeah, and also Fubuki just is in general adorable. Oh yeah, Bush. <laughs> Mr. Man. Do you like Arknights? I actually do like Arknights, yeah. It's a pretty fun game, too. Uh, a lot of strategy goes into it, though. Is the Lucky Box worse? Yes, I generally say Lucky Box are worth it. Um, you get a good deal out of it, in my opinion. You know what? Let's go ahead and try for it, you know? Let's go ahead and see... Oh, it's three hours. I won't have time to show it on stream. Ah, I'll still do it anyway. Let's see if it happens. One, level 40. Let's go for the level 40. I should be doing my homework. As it says otherwise. Oh, no, you might want to actually do your homework. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate your watching and stuff, but you might want to do your homework, man. His Arc Knight's wife, who was deep color. Actually, I mean, deep color's up there. But it's only because of the meme at this point, which is kind of like Sandy's standing. I would say my number one is. Well, actually, I'm I'm curious if people who actually play Arc Knights and are actually Watchmen Arc Knights know what my number one is. Oh, it is not like in the dorm. Oh yeah, there's your Drake. <laughs> Wife of a Spectre. I don't want to do that. That's fair enough. Did I have some interactable I needed? I see Z1, or no. Rune hiding behind there. Studying for math while listening to homework. Ah, yes, that works just fine. Take a picture and take out the least. I don't really necessarily know how that's all handled. Silver Ash. No, not Silver Ash. Sheets with Shores. I really should try Shores out. I've seen my buddy use uh, Shores pretty heavily. Mayor. Savon got it. Oh, yeah, the skin. Crap. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> I hope I have enough gems for it. Wow. I might have to go get them otherwise. But yeah, the, the... If you are gonna, like, what I will say is this. If you do decide to get gems during this period, I would say go for the, uh... Go for the boxes first. If you don't have $30, that's understandable. But if you do and you're wanting to get some for uh, skins and whatnot, you'll get a pretty good value out of it with the... Um, with the uh, little box sets that they do. But yeah, Mayor is my number one for Arknights. I don't know, she just... She in a sense is like pretty much me as an Arknights character. Just like this whole, like, always working on stuff and being like... Yeah. Oh, I guess the only difference between the two of us is I don't actually drink coffee. Also, this line is the reason I like speed. <laughs> Meebo. Yep, Meebo. Also the Meebles, but that's a thing. Okay, so it was Taiyuan, right? 
Am I saying her name right? Taiyuan? I don't know how many people here is, are, you know. Oh god, where is it? Uh, question now, is that Momony? That is Momony. Oh god, where is it? How buried is this thing? Did I pass it? I'm going to assume I passed it. Yep, there it is. I was like... Tie you on like that. <laughs> Cost is my fave. She's not in the, not in the character, though. But you're mu not, not sure how much of a compliment it is, but you're much more interesting than parabolic equations. Hey! Uh, uh, thanks, I, I guess? <laughs> Is Molony event only? I I don't actually know. I sounds like I guess she's not. I'd like Arc Knights more if A the Mingle wasn't AFKing and B its existence doesn't step on Ale's toes. Well, I mean you could say the same thing about Genshin minus part A. I guess pep alright, part B you could say the same thing about Genshin. Um Part A you definitely can't say about Genshin. You kinda need to be very, very, very focused on that game. Try typing free Taiwan into the comment sessions and we'll let you do it. Really? really? Huh. Weird. But yeah, anyway. This is the one. This is it, right? I want to make sure I've got the right one here. You said Taiwan, right? Double check and make sure you've done it right. Yeah, Taiyu ones. This is the only one I think she has, too. I think. Is this the only one she has? Okay. I think I thought the same as I wasn't sure she was gonna say Domo or not. And I felt like she was gonna say Domo. I'll slap that one on her. Alright, she is an adorable cinnamon roll of a character though. That's perfectly fine. Hey, look, I'm actually down to 300 gems for once. But yeah, anyway, what I wanted to say is. If you do look into getting these, they're actually considerably worth it. I think $30 worth of gems is, uh, I've used these because people have had me buy it. Or not, never mind. Oh, right, they reset it anniversary and I have yet to buy them. So, the next one is $40. I guess the first purchase does kind of give you that. But, yeah. Um, I actually don't know what the bonus is normally for this. A dollar? But yeah, uh, it's usually like forty bucks for about twenty four hundred. So when you when you consider this and you ignore the times two bonus, thirty bucks for pretty much a little bit under that. But you get thirty you get thirty four wisdom cubes, which is eleven for three hundred, or eleven cubes for per three hundred gems. So you're already at. Uh, you're getting 900 additional gems there, plus the random skin can range from anywhere from, like, what, 600 to 1,000 gems? Uh, these, I think, are 300 for 10? So it's like, overall, this is actually really worth it for $30. You also get two the Decisive Prints, which, sure, not bad. But yeah, you're at, you're getting a considerable amount of value uh, out of this from the 2,000 plus the anywhere from 600 to 1,000 there plus the 300 plus the 900 there. So it's a considerable amount of gems. Basically, you're, you're I guess probably it's it's pretty much the th the $40 gem thing, but you get you get a, a variety out of it instead. Same thing can be said about the other variant, which I actually don't know the difference between these two. What is the difference between these two? Oh, 
Oh, so it's just, it's the types. <laughs> the pure white angels in here. Oh yeah, so if you if you if there's a particular uh, skin you're looking for, you might want to double check these here. Because uh, some of them will. Uh, wow, the Live 2D has a 9.5%. St. Louis's Luxurious Wheels is 8.8. Oh, those Live 2Ds have pretty decent chances. There's a lot of Live 2Ds. Oh god, the the Grozny one. Hermione's one was pretty good. These are not bad, like Live 2D chances actually. So is this the li is that the Live 2D box, and this is the non-Live 2D box? Oh god, they're all live 2D! Wow! Okay, that's not bad. Hey look, Admiral Graf's World's Cutest is in there. There's the headpat skin. Where's the Pupiki one? I didn't actually see it. It's probably over that one. Uh no, that, the Pupiki one is not in there. Too poor to afford those. Oh no! <laughs> also, then put on sale. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. So yeah, there's. If you do, if you are interested in these, they're actually. I'm not trying to like be like their salesman here, but these are actually pretty good deals. I would not. If you do spend thirty dollars in this game, I'd say this is well worth it. Um. These starter packs are also pretty reliable too. Uh, there's another one that I don't have here because I've already bought it, but they're pretty reliable too. So, anyway, now that we've talked about that, that's pretty much all I need to really mention there. Anyway, I think I'm down to two runs. I think. We'll find out in a second. Life 2D or Life 2D? That is the question. Get the crimson set. That's ah, perfectly fine. Yeah, because the old box sets, I think, were like, what, 20 cubes before? They used to be 20 cubes. Oh, that makes sense, Savon. <laughs> Forget to put the code Hawk at checkout the channel. I don't think I get any. I don't think I get any commissions. Oh, hi, Soryu. You got the Taiho Live 2D so <laughs> Um, well, Sky, if you're worried about that, uh... Just have Al just have Albacore as secretary for a while. Maybe you'll be okay. Oh, you got we got world's cutest. Nice. There you go, Ren. You got the more. You got the you got the adorable cinnamon roll skin. Ready for dead or alive? Uh, I guess. I don't really know what to expect out of that event. I feel like me not not having played any of the games from it. I'm gonna miss a. If there's gonna be gags, I'm gonna miss a lot of them. I just joined. What happened here? Uh, people are doing the uh, thirty dollars boxes right now. People have been. Uh, a few people are buying them. So, one guy got the lovely world's cutest. But we are just kind of grinding uh, Princeton's event. I'm done the last two grinds, and then after that, I'm done. Um, and then I'll be hanging out in ten chapter ten probably. Maybe chapter nine, depending on how I feel. I'm away. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. 
Yes, you should be able to use both of them. They're not the same ship. Now, the only time that that rule will still be in effect is retrofit, because the retrofit and the standard variant are good, are still the same ship, so they will not let you use, like, for example, San Diego and San Diego retrofit. You, you can't get that much anti-air. Do I have a Discord? Yes, the link for my dis my Discord is in the description below, Rain. No worries, though. At least it should be in the description below. If it's not, I will uh, I will fix that. I hope it is. God, what would happen if the uh, what would happen if the Ozzelin fights Fleet Girls? Please answer. Me. Uh, I don't actually know. It'd be kind of the same thing as like Ozzelin fighting Conclaves, but I feel like the two communities are still going to cut through at each other. <laughs> Uh, to be completely honest, I don't think it'd be anything too crazy. It is there, it is in 2019. Hang on. Yes, it is there, good. <laughs> Time to grind 9-4 for that elite. Oh, looking for Nicholas. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. She's not a bad ship. I mean, obviously there's going to be ones that are better than her, but still, she's still pretty solid. She's like a step down from Laffy, if I remember correctly. Which still, that's not bad at all. I meant Niski. Oh, you're going for Ni oh, Niski, 9-4, yeah, 9-4, yeah. I read 9 f I don't know why I thought 9-3. Yeah, I got her recently. I'm glad I finally have her, for Christ's sake. The firepower is real. Yeah, the original Tashkin is still better than the Tashkin Muse, though. Yeah. Yeah, I remember looking at her skills a while back ago, and my, my initial thought was she looks like Laffy, but a step down. Which even then, like if you're comparing against Laffy, yeah, and like a step down, that's still pretty solid. That's kind of like saying like Nimi is Tashkent but a step down. I mean, Tashkent's really good, but which means that Nimi is still pretty good. <laughs> Give me pause, <laughs> Lamar, please. She's pretty different from Laffy. It's just like the skills I kind of looked at that I was like, they kind of feel a little bit like that for some reason. Like I felt like it was a, it was a good Laffy. Com a Laffy could be a good, decent comparison against it. A mix of Laffy and Javelin. Fair, fair. So I guess the bigger question is, is Javelin better than Nicholas? Because I know Javelin has been the worst of the four. You've got burst damage Queen Ayanami, you've got TPS Nimi, and Laffy is a step down from Nimi. Though still relatively cool, like a sec like a close second. Sudiga. You got Sudiga? Interesting. I'm gonna do stage 12 is basically time to cry. Oof! The seventh queen of the campus picture mocks me. <laughs> it's just QE in general, though. Pick for me Ozer, Ozer box or Crimson box. Mm, what does Cheeto usually like? You were London for a while, so I know you like London. I don't know what... So I remember you were like, London, sate sate. Hmm. 
Look at the skins again. Let me see whatever in the pool. No, it's in your packs. Alright, so here is the Azalea one, probably. Cooper, Emil, Grozny, Hermione, Aldridge, Kipi, Richie, San Marie, or San Luis. And on this side, you have Z46, Aerograph Speed, Taiho Yukaze Azuma. Soft voice of spring, I don't remember that one. Suruga Ryuho. Ryuho's a good one though. No sh no no Shiron. No Shiron? Uh typo? I don't think she has an N in her name. Or that that last N in her name. Zara. Oh, pool cycle. Oh, that's that one is definitely not good for public. Uh that's not a bad one. That one's never been bad, and Jean Bar is not a bad one either. I have a feeling you would probably like the Ozer Lane side more. And I'm gonna make a guess and say you get the Hermione skin. I'm gonna say the Hermione skin. No shit on, no shit off. That's not the first typo. Oh, I know it's definitely not the first typo. But yeah. Oh, uh, God. Hermione's skin is so adorable. I'm curious if he actually got uh, Hermione's. He, I feel like he might have gotten... <laughs> watch him get... Uh, what is it? Um, watch him get her... Uh, what is it? Ah, oh, God. Uh, so watch, watch him get St. Louis. Are you doing that? <laughs> San Luis, St. Louis is so good. Uh, I don't know. All of her, all of her skins are relatively high fan service content. Not saying it's a bad thing, but I'd kind of like to see a more cute side to her. <sighs> like this, they're all relatively high fan service. Especially this one, I feel bad because there's a Manju getting completely like abused by the uh, what is it? By her feet, Ninghai. Oh, you got Ninghai. Which one was that? That's not the butt. It's not the Moon Rabbit one, is it? No, the Moon Rabbit's one are static. What's the live 2D one for her? Hold up. What's the live 2D one they have? Ningai has live 2D? Oh, the, the, this one. Okay. I didn't realize that one was live 2D. It's the idol one. Huh. I didn't realize it. Wow. I almost didn't. I, I looked at this and didn't even think that was. <laughs> that didn't look like Ninghai for a second. I'm so used to seeing her hair up. That startled me. I forgot about this one. I was like, whoa, this is not. No, that is her. Wait, that's her? Really? The hair down threw me off completely there. That's a pretty good one for her, though. It's very pretty. That, the hair down though threw me completely off. My gosh. Speaking of speaking of characters that get, that completely throw me off, Exter is another one. Where is Exter? 
the art design, the art style for extra completely changed from retrofit to normal. This is normal and this is retrofit. The art style ever changed. Not saying it's a bad thing. It's just, it's noticeably different. It's a lot more refined now in this one than it was in this one. Not a fan of Exter. It's fine. I know a lot of people aren't necessarily. She's a little bit better. She's more. Well, interesting. She's she's C A versus she's a C A V C A character. Does really decently with the full firepower giant hunter combo. Defense order is kind of a nice thing. The entire t fleet takes less damage for eight seconds, which isn't bad. It's just twenty five percent chance on the proc. She was my second team uh, heavy cruiser for a long time. That's why she's where she is right now. So, anyway. Back to this. I think we're down to one more run. This is where history was speed. Yeah, that probably that makes sense, I guess. First could see it ended up using her for a long time. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, she was a good she was a good CA when I started with. Um of course she got quickly replaced though, sadly. Her skills aren't the most reliable things to work with. I guess Giant Hunter's never gonna be bad, but Dramatic Change is easy. Oh yeah. There's a good number of characters that got dramatic changes. Foxhound's another one, uh York has changed a little bit, but it's not bad. Yudachi's style, uh, art style changed a bit too. The face is more like a Moe Blob face than it used to be. If we're talking like complete differences, then yeah, Furutaka and Kako, Furutaka and Kako are both up there too. Hermes upgraded to Turbo Duelist, pretty much. Thank you for reminding me to retrofit York. Hey, that's no problem. It's an exception being CASDD. She tries her hardest and it pull it actually works. Is a drop. Yeah, it really is. Like it took me the longest time just to get her. I think she's still the longest grind. Shortest grind still, I think, is uh, Sendai. It's not bad damage there, dang. Not hard of these two to grind. Uh. I don't know how long she's been farming it. I know I've been farming it for... When did I last post it? Hold up. When was the last time I posted on it? Let me see. Real old post. It's back when I said re. It was back when I said re. So long ago. God, how long ago did I post that? There it is. A year ago to date. Oh, okay, I didn't know I meant to date. What's this? Oh, it doesn't specifically say. Oh, I don't. I 
actually have an actual, I don't know how old a year ago is. Let me see if I can find. I know it was, it was at least half a year's worth of grinding. Like that, like that, that much of just constantly logging on and doing it when I was not recording a video or anything back then, which was pretty much almost every other day when I wasn't doing anything. It was about half a year. That's how pretty much about how long it took me. It's your heart of a nice. Yeah, she's pretty friggin' rare. I don't understand why she's that rare. It's weird because she actually like beats a lot of characters in terms of drop rates for some reason. Jitsu took me a while. Nicholas, I remember getting her. I don't remember who, which, which character I was recording for when I accidentally just happened to drop her. It was really funny when that happened, though. It's like ultra, yeah, pretty much. I honestly can't disagree with that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how long Zoe was grinding for, but it took me literally about six. Hours to uh, not six hours, six months to get her. On a lot of time. <laughs> she don't know. Level ninety. Level ninety. What? The last. The last I know a few people that have gotten her, like, on the first or second run. It's kind of like what happened to me with Inazuma. Or with Ikazuchi. I think it was Ikazuchi. Ikazuchi. It was Ikazuchi. Um, with Ikazuchi, I got her on my second run of 8-2. So it's like, it happens. I totally know, because I've experienced it myself. And I will wholeheartedly admit that I got her within the first two, two or three runs of 8-2. So I'm not going to be surprised that people do that. But I feel like... I feel like there's more correlation with people who get who take a significant amount of time to get her than those that get her pretty much immediately. But I feel like it seems I want to say that the average feels like one to two months of just trying to get her to drop. That's just kind of how it is, though. Some some of them go quick, some of them go well, others don't. Can't really do too much, just you know, to really change that. Not much you can really do anyway. Junior, what map? Uh, eleven or t no. 13. I think she's 13. I don't remember if she's 13-1 or 13-2 or something. I don't have her yet, so I can't say anything. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Is I think the, no the more noticeable trend has been Isuzu takes longer. Yeah, I don't actually know what map Junior is on. I think Jun oh, 12 3 and 13 3. Okay, so 12 13 3. Yeah, like, it can happen. It never really, really makes, um... It could be, it could be hit or miss. But I feel like, I feel like what I've noticed from a lot of people is Isuzu has been the real hard one to get. Am I saying that you're not gonna get her on, uh, that it's impossible for anyone to get her on first run? No. And I, I, I believe people have. It's not gonna surprise me. 
just a lot, just in GP. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, hey, I got more zeros. Not that I really use zeros to begin with. Absolutely fan service. Why am I not surprised? I feel like DOA was a very fan service uh, a very fan service game. And we are done! There we are. Alrighty, what do we got? Blue skill. CVL. Okay, I guess I can't actually see her skills until I actually go to her. That's a comment. <laughs> Alright, where are you? There you are. Alright. When this ship launches an airstrike, well, airstrikes launched via skills do not count. Good to note. Decrease the ship's aviation damage taken by 70% for 8... 70% for 8 seconds. Wow. So if you time this perfectly, you're gonna, like, take nothing. This... When this buff wears off, 70% chance to launch an additional level 10 TBF Avenger airstrike damage based on skill level. Huh. So this is that's a skill you can definitely time out to avoid a lot of damage on. That's not bad. Probably not gonna be a very helpful thing though, if there's not a good if there's not good like offensive stats for her. When sorted with Birmingham or when there are at least three other Union ships in the fleet decreases your vanguard's burn damage taken by 15% and burn duration by 3 seconds. If this ship is in your flagship, further decreases your vanguard's burn duration by 3 seconds. Wow. Very, uh, very support role. Very, uh, very support role. Let me see these stats, though. <sighs> Let me see these stats, though. Let's see, Enterprise or something. Not Enterprise. Sar no, I don't even know if Saratoga is even a good person to compare against. Yeah, Enterprise is going to be way too high. I never want to compare against the same rare, against SR versus Elite. Yeah, because it's no contest. I guess probably Saratoga would be, would be probably one of the better ones to point off of. So let's, let's do that then. Even though she's best in slot. Or, I think, probably one of the best carriers we've got. It's also... Well, okay. It's light carrier versus full carrier. Uh, Unicorn, I don't think, is a good example either. What's her loadout? Fighter Torpedo Bomb. Oh, that is... Okay, so actually Unicorn would be a good comparison. Better torpedo bomber efficiency, worse fighter efficiency, um, better aviation stat probably because she's not a healer. Or no, better aviation, not aviation. For that. Same reload, same cost, less health than unicorn. Really? I guess she's pretty. She's tanky though from her skill if you time it. She doesn't seem bad, but I don't think she's going to be that, like, crazy. Compare her with Independence. Uh, do I want to compare her against Independence, though? I mean, it is her sister. Sure, I guess I could do that. Is uh, doesn't seem like she's doesn't seem like Princeton's a bad character. 
she seems way more defensive fo focused, which isn't a necessarily a bad thing, but again, your role really shouldn't be trying to out-tank something. So that's probably one of the major, major things I'll say on that. Alright, so I need to now work towards, uh, let us switch this fleet out. So this is where I'm going to take some time because I'm going to set up the fleet again. Um, I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do either two light carriers, or not carriers, two light cruisers and a heavy cruiser, or, let's see, because I need Vanguard related to Sakura Empire in general. So... Definitely want to get Ibiki more time, especially since she's now got her kit pretty much fully set up. Or her skills are all set up. I'll put Ibiki in the middle. And then... Do I want to go Destroyer? Do I want to go... Hmm. We are going to have... We're going to have a... Tr uh, we're gonna have Perseus, and we're gonna have Monarch and uh, Hal together. So Atago's gonna probably get stepped on a little bit with their skill if I use her, but I could. Yes, yeah, so one of you body's skill is an XP boost for cruisers, so I need to stick with a cruiser. Question is, do I use a light cruiser or do I go for a heavy? Especially in Operation Siren. Oh, okay. So, well, uh, she's gonna be really low level. We do have Perseus. We might be okay. All right, I'll throw her on. Destroyer, not 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 destroy her. Destroyer. Like DD. All right, Monarch. Because backline does not matter at all. This is only gonna show Suck on Empire because that's just the way that the filter works. Okay, where is my monarch? There she is. Yeah, pull her out of fleet six, please. Let's get how. Before chat makes a bunch of how jokes. And then Perseus, because I need to continue to level up Perseus. Level 91 Perseus, hey, not bad. Okay, you are set up. Monarch, you are definitely not. How is not. I need to level up her red skills eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep her on a 406 because the barrage is pointless. Wait, is her barrage on fire or is it timer? I forget. It's on fire, so 40%. Yeah. Oh, how, uh, how still has her uh, gun? Good. How good do you think this fleet is, bruh? That would be worth the eighty medals. Yeah, it would be. Don't really have that. Okay. Use a King George the Fifth gun on Monarch. What? Is there a reason I should be using the King the 356 quad? I don't necessarily know if that's gonna be a good thing to do. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have much I can do about those. I thought you had your secondary gun. Oh, Richie has your gun. Why would I do that? No! That's mean. We're not doing that. That's mean. No bully.
I actually don't mind the spread on the 356. If you have a lot of enemy clu enemies clustered, uh, well, not really, not tightly clustered, but around each other, that 356 is going to pretty much hit all of them. Versus the more precision shot. Um, let's yoink these off of JP. Or I could go for that. Nah, yeah, I'll stick with shells. It's not like I need it that hard. I don't need them to be firing that fast anyway. Alright, Perseus is ready to roll. You're ready to roll. You're ready to roll. No Shiro needs her stuff. Yubani needs a slight twist. Hey, Carrot King! Let me yoink a health kit and slap that on her. Not misclick. Anything about the club event? I don't know. I, I don't know much about DOA, so I can't say much about it, really. It's gonna be one of those things where it's just like, we have to wait and see how I feel about it. That's definitely one, gonna be one of those moments. Uh, Ibuki, I don't know if she's got her gear, so yeah. She does not. Let me yoink Lamar's uh, torpedoes here. And... I'm gonna go full beans on Ibuki. We're going full beans. <laughs> we we are gonna make her hurt. Especially since she's got level 10 body and soul. Flash of light is getting there. I'm leveling it as we go. And then I think actually Noshiro is gonna help with the torpedo boost too, isn't she? She's a torpedo uh, enhancer, isn't she? Or not. She increases the torpedo of your vanguard. Wait, is it depleted damage? No, it's just just its stat itself. Okay. <laughs> what flavor of beans? Uh, I don't know. Spicy bean? I got I got nothing. I got nothing. I want to give this to Noshiro. I don't know if this is good to put on her. Sure, latest oath. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let us work this off Tashkin. And then, you know what, I'll give her one Oxytorp. I'm a little too worried about her low health. Well, her health's gonna be lower just because, uh, much lower level. I'll give her a health kit just to be kind of on the safer side. All right, this team is ready to roll. I feel like Ibuki is gonna just constantly MVP. God, this is gonna be a slightly expensive fleet. I'm running double PR, I'm running two PRs. What does that cost? 74, oof. Not to mention I've got how many SRs here? Five, uh, f technically three. Technically three. <laughs> That that oil cost is gonna be painful for people who do not like me being not. Oil is just the number, Hawk. I know. Honestly, I'm also going to switch, go back to team five, I think. No, four. We are gonna switch on Pound and Lime here. Yes, I know they're in Fleet 3. Yes, I know they're in Fleet 3. Pound and Lime for these two. That's gonna be some pretty heavy boosting. I think that's not what I wanted. What do I care about oil cost? I know I don't I don't care about oil cost, but people still are gonna get on me about that. Alright. Let's see how we do it. I'm not gonna do pain train. Uh you know what? I wanna see my bo my boss lead against pain train again. It's been a while. Overkill lasts forever. Plus this will give me a good feel for the team, because I know no I know Shiro I'm a little worried about. Just let you know. Oh yeah, they're on. They're on Fleet Three. They're on. They are not on three, Fleet Three anymore. They're on Fleet Four. All right, Ibuki, you gonna just delete everything? 
Oh, jeez, you did. Oh, we are a sluggish team. Hide behind the hide behind the shield. Well, actually, do that first. No, you killed him. Shoot that. Oof. <laughs> I'll go back here. Yeah, I might want to consider a beaver badge on somebody. Let me see that damage difference, though. Oh my god. That damage differential. Holy crap. bees again. I don't know about that. Oh, hello, treasure fleet. I've not made this place safe yet. Holy crap. How much have to pay to tight to head pat tight? Do I need to put her as secretary and head patter? Hi, Maya. How you doing? How you doing, Maya? Goodbye, Maya. I want to hold the torpedoes in case I need to deal. That's a fake barrier. Don't you can't debate me like that. Headpat anyone as secretary. You, I mean, you can headpat technically everybody. It's just live 2D skins generally tend to have better interactions. <laughs> please. Yeah, we're gonna start to go pretty heavily on. Uh, what is it? The oh well, I'll fight it anyway. Anyway. She wants. We need to go get the headpats. Check the AA on Ibuki. All right, I'll check it in a second. Let me go find Tai uh, Tai Yuan. No, I could just sort by Dragon Emperor. That'll be faster. There you are. All right, make sure they're good. You know, I'll throw her in the main secretary slot. All right, let's go see. Head back. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let's, let's, let's zoom in on this. Zoom in. Put about right, right, right there. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Head back. One more time. <laughs> special touch. No, we don't special touch. No. Don't do it. I actually need to see how much XP uh, Monarch still needs. We may be able to get it tonight. That's gonna hurt. Oh, they're gone. God, the damage numbers there. The damage numbers were good. Oh, she doesn't need much. 
She will not need much. That's good. All right, I'm, I'm, I am curious to see how this my boss fleet's gonna handle against Pain Train. This is Pain Train we're fighting. Though I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. Got so much damage. What is that? Oh. We'll see how this goes. Well, alrighty then. That worked out well. Prepare your wallet. Do I need to prepare my wallet? I don't know if I'm. I don't know. We'll have to see. There's no contest because of that torpedo build. Marnak level, Marnak level 100 tonight, boys. We're gonna hope for it. How much does she need? Let's see. Also, great. Thanks for the five. Uh, so five dollars there. Where is she at? Let's let's actually see how how little she needs or how much she still needs because that that still could be a lot for level ninety nine. Uh, oh, six thousand. She needs about six thousand two hundred and thirty five. Six thousand two hundred thirty five. Yeah, that's gonna be something easily obtainable. That might be within our second run. This is ten three. Or 10-1, sorry, 10-1. I read 9-3 for some reason. And then added 10 instead of 9. <laughs> That's just only those who want to be special touched. Fuck, sound I'm looking at. I don't know if she necessarily wants to be. Getting a little bit beat up there, no shit, but it's caught because you're over your you're overall levels. <laughs> this constant skill proccing is kind of terrifying. Oh yeah, if I need six thousand. We're gonna get there in three in five more fights. Five fights in Monarchs level 100. Unless she MVPs. If she MVPs, boy, we're gonna be good. I just realized we're running an IJN. Oh, well, oof. We're running an IJN uh, front line with a Royal Navy back line. We are confused on anti air. So I'm gonna say four more fights now, and then that'll be all. If she MVPs, it'll be it will reduce the number by one. Oh, I don't think she's gonna be able to actually outpace Ibuki though, just because the sheer damage she <laughs> just deleted Nagato. Oh my gosh. Nice guy. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a lot for Mon. It's gonna take a. Monarch's really gonna have to push herself to get that MVP. Problem is, I think Ibuki's just gonna dominate tonight. Yeah, Ibuki. Well, that's close. She did beat Perseus pretty hard, though. Double the damage of Perseus, but only 6k under from uh, Ibuki. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit level 100 and I'm gonna dump all of those PR prints into her. That was a quote. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There we go. Alright, pain train, let's see how you do. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. We may even take them out before Pain Train even gets there. I don't need Monarch to MVP, it's just it is gonna make her level up faster, but it's not gonna be like mission critical she gets it. The Vanguard needs the XP more than Monarch does. Oh well that's definitely not gonna be good for her if I roll it. I wish I had torpedoes now. That's gonna hurt a bit. Oh, I missed it for the most part. Kind of surprising. Helene, I'm gonna need to check your main gun. I'm not seeing a main gun from you. That wasn't so bad. Pain train doesn't need to. It, pain train isn't a problem if you have the plane train. Actually, more like pl plane, plane chain, plane chain. Yeah, plane chain. Pain train versus plane chain. It sounded better in my head. That sounded a lot better in my head. Huh. <laughs> The boy train. I mean, you, you just said poi. You said poi in chat, so we're gonna have a poi chain now. Plain rain. Uh, 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 sure, I guess. I don't know. Got him. <laughs> Dev 25. Yeah, Dev 25 is generally the good, uh, what people generally say for PRs for being good. Some can handle P uh, Dev 20. I don't remember all of the ones that can. I think Rune may be an exception to that. Ah, uh, there's Point Chain. All right, all right. Here comes here comes the Monarch level 100 hype. Three fights. She needs three fights, and that's it. Unless she MVPs here, she could. Never know. Yeah, Ibuki just cleared a good chunk of that, so we're probably going to have to really fight. Monarch's going to have to fight for it. Didn't clear an Otago there. Oh, there we go. That's a good start. Fortunately, I think we're probably gonna wipe this team here. Yeah, not even a chance. <laughs> Torpedoes took them out. Forgot to check if Helene has a main gun again. Ah, god, yeah, I did. It's okay, we'll get it after. She probably doesn't. I feel like she doesn't, though. It'll be okay. I'll slap it on afterwards. Watch me forget. If she MVPs here, she can potentially level. 
Ibuki didn't get a lot of damage out here. And I think her torpedoes are out. Yep, her torpedoes are out. So we could hold off. We could see. There we go. Here we go. Let's see. Was it enough? Was it enough? How with the MVP? Upset <laughs> that smile. Look at that smile, though. But chat, do you see this? Look at that. Look at that bar. Y'all know what that means. There, here is the guaranteed level. I'm gonna put you in the middle. You probably need to be in the middle. Even though Yubari has such terrible health. <laughs> Here we go. Doesn't even matter if I go for MVP here or not. Actually, you are so hurt, but it's because your level difference. You need that health, though. Good hits. There it is. You get the point upgrade? No, this is the level. This is the level 120. It's level 100. There it is. <laughs> Boom! Level 100, Monarch. Perfect. It has happened, Jet. Level 100 Monarch. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's my second level 100 now for the PRs. Ibuki taking first. But Monarch is the most developed in terms of everything. Time for 120 now. Oh, we're working on it. Thanks for the next gift of the final Yes, I have Princeton. Uh, I did the whole grind for it, though. Okay, that was finished. Perfect. Yeah, I'll have to awaken her later. Oh god, I don't know how much she how much she costs to awaken. I didn't actually pay attention the last time I did that. No shit, though, she just gets some pretty hefty experience from here, though. My goodness. I think we were at like 40 something when I started this. So we'll see if that gives us a good amount of, uh. What is it? A good amount of, uh. <laughs> Experience here for this. That's still two mil, so that's a lot to work for. That's a big barrier. Most. I would like to see more applications of Prinzwagen. I still think Prinzwagen would be a pretty good one. Uh, other PRs? I'm not really sure. Or other, other SRs? I'm not sure. I, 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 as much as as much as I would like to see Enterprise get one, I'm still kind of like she's not bad, but it's she's it's it, her, her, her she's kind of aged now. Her age is starting to show a bit. So we can do two armor sixty from mini jump. Oh no, I understand that. I, I understand that. Yeah. Same as this are cost. Oh, so it's not more just because they're P PR. I'm assuming Ultra Rare is going to have a, a spike. 
let's stick with Recon Fleet. Yeah, she she's she's still pretty decent. It's just right now she's been very much uh, what is it? Power crept, and the age is starting to show on it. Though Saratoga, I think, is still one of the few that'll remain relatively high up there just because of just how she works in general. God, she still hits for 2,050% damage. That's a crit. Yeah, it's understandable. Like, I could definitely see Enterprise getting one. So it, like, makes sense to me. God, look at them both do work back there. Holy crap. That is nuts. Turk girl's age. Not that kind of age, Lice. <laughs> The way they worded it sounds like they were going to buff rework without a retrofit. They might do that for some. I'm not going to be surprised by that. It, it wouldn't be a first. Uh, Yorktown was one of the few that did, like I, I've mentioned in the past, that did get kind of a buff. Thanks, you guys are going to continue to make the Korean sister jokes. Was that part of the reason it was called Turkey Shoot? Because it was around Thanksgiving time for US? I don't actually know. Or is that just part of the, like, the other, whatever it is, uh, slang gimmicks? So it was around. Okay, that's funny. But yeah, I can kind of. It, it, to me, it looks like uh, Helena does not have a main gun. You good? I did some decent damage there. Oh, I probably should have held off on the radar scan. They're not going to do much damage to Enterprise. She's level 120. All right, it's done and done. It's, up. it's your time to do the plane chain, plane rain, plane. Plain something. I don't know. Just just chain it again. Just chain it again. <laughs> Synchronized takedown. They generally tend to be uh, re relatively uh, historically accurate when it comes to retrofits. So, like, Saratoga had one, while Lexington did not, because I think Lexington, but Lexington was taken out before Saratoga got a refit. I'm not surprised you guys skyrocketed in damage there. Well, actually, I, maybe she has a main gun. Her damage output is not... If she doesn't have a main gun, I'm actually kind of not... I'd be surprised. I think she has a main gun. Uh, okay. First things first. Where are you? Your damage suggests you have a main gun. You do. It's just I'm not noticing it. I'm, not, I'm missing the shots there. Alright, secondly... I got some I got some spare dosh. I'm fine doing that. It's not like it's going to be hard for me to get that before uh, end of weekend. Or before, before the next update, anyway. Who has your favorite oath skin? Oh, my favorite oath skin? Uh, there's a lot of good ones. Minnie's got a. Ri ri I love Minnie's a lot. Uh, Sandy's isn't bad either. Go ahead and put it on. If you're wondering why the 76 main gun is on her uh, main gun slot right now, memes. That's the best way to describe it. Yamashiro's is absolutely adorable. So minis, it's gonna be a, t uh, it's a toss up between mini, um, minis. Sandy's isn't bad. Yamashiro's isn't bad. Cleveland's isn't bad. Uh, that's all right. I'm probably gonna say, I'm gonna say mini, just cause that character break is so good. It's 
seeing Kainese ships. That would be terrifying to start seeing Kainese. Though at the same time, I, I know there is some that there are a lot of ships that did get something like that. I know there's a good number of Succulent Empires I believe that did too. Yudachi technically had a Kaini. I think, if I remember correctly. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to say many just because of the character break. So. The other thing I wanted to do, I've been sitting on these for the longest time. I do want to max them out. This is just a preference. I know some of you will be like, this probably is not worth it, but still, it's just the way I wanted to do it. Now that she's level 100, I can do it. That's a pretty good start. <laughs> oh, that's going to take a lot. <laughs> probably about 70. If I had to guess, we need about 70 of those. But we're almost max fate sim, too. There we go. Oof. 65? Well, that's not bad. I need about 40. Definitely not bad at all. Yippee Rune. In case you guys are wondering why I don't have that many prints uh, on, the, on the second PR team, I'm still focusing on PR1 because Neptune's not finished. She's still nowhere near completed, and I'm still working on Izumo as well. So. Still got a few more to go, but not too bad. How are we doing here? Georgia can put one in as well as... Hey, Dev Level 10 for you. Nice. And as well as FTG. <laughs> hey, Dev Level 6. Lovely. Dev Level 6. That's amazing. And before any of you are asking why I don't have that many Dev Levels, uh, I actually have not converted all 73 of these yet. <laughs> I don't have as many P do you I don't ha I haven't focused on these as much yet. That's kind of the thing. Oh, hello. I didn't even realize I had this many. What's in the box? Oh. Wait, what? Did it do the dumb thing where it didn't dismantle? It didn't dismantle. It did not do the dismantling. I don't think I need that many. Oh, I need to level up some of those. I don't think I need as many of these anymore. Especially seven of them. There we go. Need the Hell Divers. Those are not bad. Rubas are good. Rubas are good. I'll drop that down to. Nah, I'll keep two. I think I might need actually somebody with swordfishes. I don't remember how many people need swordfishes. Okay, these are absolute... Get rid of those. I hate the triples. Put them on ships. They don't kill torture total. That is technically a true point. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, but some of those are like also older gear I don't really plan to use. Oh, hello. I also have these. What's in here? The absolute legend that photobomb Perseus. <laughs> the absolute legend that photobomb Perseus. I love that description. All right. How many steam catapults? Oh, that's ah, that. You know what? I I need that. I'll I'll take that. That's never a bad thing. How many steam catapults? Oh. Okay. <laughs> two purple shells. Or two purple and white shells. Yeah. Aha. Not bad, I guess. Okay. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, when you if you redo the uh, 
San Diego event and the uh, War Spite event, you get these. You don't get a mic or a sword. It's just another, it's just like a, uh, oh, here, uh, you did the thing again. Here you go. That's literally all it is. It's just a collectible trophy. It's kind of like these things, like the get the Valentine's gifts. This one is still adorable. <laughs> I kind of want to get Shokaku's just so I can see what it is. But I might, you know what, I'm thinking Ibuki might be what I do next time. Gift letter of Shokaku, I got the North Carolina letter, the San Diego letter. So, not too bad. I'm gonna go see what this cat is. Not that I'm Steam Catapults. I know, right? Oh boy, it's a blue. I totally need that. All right, start training. Let's do this. I'll put four in. Earth. Uh, ten hours, five minutes, and six hours, nine minutes, six hours, forty-five, and five thirty-seven. I have no idea what any of those are. That rainbow quint six ten is going to be nasty. Ooh, that, that does sound like that's going to be a good one. Matching my foreign scissors teeth that got removed instead of my wisdom teeth. Oh! Okay. Tushiano? What? <laughs> there, there. Mock, please toot. I can't make her toot. She has to toot on her own. You have to, we'll, have, we'll have to wait for her to do it. So you have to wait for her to toot. Oh, no, she just hit herself in the head with a... Tuba, yeah. Oh, hey, Meta. She's looking at me with those eyes. It burns straight to the soul. Here, I'll give her a head pat. How's that? How's the head pat? That better? Does that help? I have not seen the, the event pre preview video yet. No. I'll probably check it out after stream. I don't want to generally play it because I don't know if I have to worry about like copyright or anything. But I definitely do appreciate that they... Uh, I'm assuming it's animated just like uh, all the other ones now, which is... It's nice seeing that. It's definitely nice seeing that. We have to wait for her to toot. Chat wants to toot. This is why I got the Fubuki skin immediately. Because when I saw that this was a that this was a thing, I was like, I need to have this. Because I can I can I can do it on boats now. She she's she's is quite the resilient one when it comes to uh, when it comes to maybe I had to actually is it a tap? Nope, she just hit herself in the head again. Do the toot. <laughs> God, she's adorable. Just use a tuba in battle. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> the tightest I see you in chat. I don't have my I don't have my instruments here. I actually have to pay a fine if I do, because I they they I, I have to pay a fee if I want to have instruments here. <laughs> You know what? I know what we can do for this. Live 2D. She doesn't have her voice, though. There you go. There's no toot, though. Can I not? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's the two. That's the best we're gonna get it. Unless she does it now that we're unless she does it now now that we've returned back. I guess I could technically do our archives. Alright, let's go do archives. Uh, let us sort. I have a 97 collection rate. That's not bad. I got a DD, and she's an elite. Boost, first one. Details. Uh, music pixie, I believe. Yep. Live 2D on. Can I zoom? Oh, we can't zoom. Uh, should be main, main screen. There you go. I like the little manjus that also appear too. There you go. There's the dude. No, collapse ships do not. Last time I checked, I don't believe they do. But you know, I know people are gonna be like, but you don't have the collapse ships, it's not a perfect 100. Problem is, these th these ships are the type that you had to have been there for in order to get them. And if you weren't there for them, you kinda SOL. Especially since I don't think some of them are gonna ever come back. Also, priority ships count. So priority ships, that's where a majority of mine missing are right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing eight out of the... So I have seven outside of here in the common tab. There's one. Uh, two. Three. I think they're all down here now. Stuck on an empire side. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Retrofits also count well as well. So your collection is also going to be dependent on you completing retrofits. Because these count this account as you get one for the initial unlock and two for the retrofit. Also, I forgot I was about to <laughs> I saw her as I scrolled down. Meta, how goes your bunker hill grind? <laughs> See I kept off call action. Which is weird though, Meta, because like Neptunia. They Neptunia worked a lot with uh Yo, Star Manju for Crosswave. I'm not gonna use coding expertise to hack the collapse shits into my account. I already have them all anyway. Still going on in six months. That's about how I felt with uh, Isuzu, so I, I, I feel you, man. I feel you. I like how you now, too, now that we are, now that we've moved on, you've decided to do it now. I can't even be mad at you. I can't. Not with a head pad animation like that. Idea Factory. Yeah, I meant to say Idea Factory. Crap. Well, I mean, Idea Factory Compile Heart. It's probably still Idea Factory. But I imagine the two of them are technically someone still working. They would work together, though. That's why I think a Neptunian collab would be a potential rerun, if anything. You're not allowed to be mad. I guess I can't. All these head pats now. Yeah, it should be Idea Factory. Idea Factory should be the main go to. Compile Heart, I think, uh, doesn't do that stuff. Heart palpitations. They're really awesome. They are pretty good. You really kind of have to cherry pick which ones you get. Ipuki was kind of a main one for me, as well as uh, Fubuki's. And well, okay, I can't really say Akashi's because Akashi's is what you you, you get Akashi's by default. Another reason why Ipuki is a, like a hard not to have secretary. Yeah, I don't I don't particularly see them being against that, especially since Neptunia is still relatively popular. Though the lack of a new main entry has kind of been hurting the franchise a bit. 
I hope we'll see another one in the future. Better say that, sorry. Yeah, I know they would need a new contract, but I don't think they're going to have too much of an issue, especially since they've been working with hand-in-hand -hand with each other with, for Crosswave. Alright, who do I not have? Agano, right? I'm worried about bringing Noshiro to 11-2. Hang on, let me see. What am I missing? It's it's Agano, right? Soccer Empire. Agano's 11-2. Or 11, is she 11-2? Yeah, 11-2. I was like, 11-3? No, she's 11-2. 11-3 was Sendai. I think. We don't need to go there. <laughs> yeah, it's Sendai. And it's safe here, so that might actually help me a little bit. I am going to go ahead and do this real quick. Not, no, go back. Back. You know, she's a character I'd like to see a retrofit for, too. I guess that's another character I would definitely say. Noshiro, you're gonna have to hang in there. I believe in you. If you can't make it, I'll, I'll figure out how to help you get through it. I believe in you. Alright. Agano was a elite? Is she boss node only, or is she any node? I don't necessarily remember how the rules work for elite map drops. It's been forever since I've tried to go for these map drops. Backline may struggle a little bit. I think they'll be okay. I don't know any map drop. I think the game froze. Aha. <laughs> uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I think the game broke. All right, even uh, we'll try that again. Agano says no. <laughs> That's still adorable, Yukikaze. I always love when that happens on Inmo Stream. I've had it happen twice today. I did the, uh... What was it? I did the, uh, Alive 2D bug. Ah, yes, the Ibuki entrance. Ibuki, you gotta make her entrance back. Perfect. Oh yeah, don't worry, we're, 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 we're having our own outing right now. I like how it actually saved that part of the fight. Agano's date skin. A look. I will see it when I get there. That is sick. It's so good. Alright, Ibik, you do all the work. Because you're probably going to do most of the work, if not all of it. Torpedoes are trying so hard. That's a fake barrier. Don't you bait me, game. Why are you bully me like that? Alright, let's get our health back as much as we can. There we go. Ugh, there we go. Normal purple drop rate. Must have all the rerun skins. Why do I need to have all the rerun skins? I'm not too big on re I'm not too big on skins. Like, I, I know I have a good number of them, but I, compared to how many that are currently that are out in existence, I have a very small percentage. Alright, let's do the big fleet here. Let's see how, how painful that'll be.
God, now I'm gonna go listen to the uh, chorus remix again. This is so good. Maybe I should add those to the... Uh, I just realized I haven't been playing music all stream today. Like, my own music. I might add that to my uh, playlist. I'm gonna go get it, though. Alright, Yubike, I need you to take Mutsu out there. You almost took Mutsu out. There we go. That's good damage. That's gone. That's gone. The garage was clean up there. Nice. Congo, no. Dead. Yes! Stopped it before the brush uh, hit. I'm not surprised Ibuki is getting that either. What's to make you suffer for, ma for making it suffer? I don't know if I really made it suffer. I just kind of... I have my, my infamous boss fleet that just handles just about everything. At least now. It's not going to be much longer. I know that for sure. I'm going to hold the torpedoes here. These are just destroyers. Okay, now I need it. That's a lot of fire from me. Oh, wow, okay, that was a clean. That was a good clean. Use your subs. Oh, I should probably have to have them doing stuff. I forget to use my subs all the time. Hey, Monarch was even beat 3,000. <laughs> That is flagship and MVP XP buff there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the flagship uh, buff there is is strong. Let's put you guys on attack mode. <laughs> Cover for killing half of your chat in cold blood. I don't know. <laughs> Three K XP though, that's good for me. She, that's gonna help her. Level. I don't know why I sent those flying. Go Charlie here too. This, this should be a recon fleet, so I can't imagine too many battleships. Plot twist is battleship. Nah, it's probably Congo. Probably the pouty face Congo. Where are you? No, it's Takao. Seeing you play VR chat. I actually was playing it this Saturday. It's just it's every other Saturday. I stream this when I stream it. Pop the second one. I don't know how much is left. This should be the last of it. Yep. Some of my monarch simp money. How much monarch simp money have we had today? Oh yeah, I forgot you're not awakened. I can go awaken her right now. I probably should do that. Chibua, thanks for the sub. Right, let me go awaken uh, you, buddy. Not enough? What do you mean, not enough? Bruh! <laughs> what do you mean, not enough? You're scaring me! <laughs> uh, I'm blind. I swear, I am blind. Yes, I'm blind. How many levels is that? Hey, that's one. Hey, that's two. Two and a half. More like maybe, maybe, 
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe 2.6. Yeah, 2.6. I will say 2.6. That's uh, uh, adorable love line, but, uh, mm. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. From Ibuki Semper to Monarch. Well, unfortunately, that's not really going to happen. Oh, that team is not attacked yet. And I'm on, well, all right, it's fine. You're in battle. No, you can awaken when you're in battle. It's supposed to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but it, lately it's been depending on when I don't have meetings on work. So I may have to kind of start looking into more, like, observing a bit more and seeing how my schedule might have to rotate. Normally it's supposed to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. But uh, that's generally what it is. I didn't have one Monday. I moved it to Tuesday because I had a meeting, and then Tuesday I was sick. So I decided to hold off on that. But generally it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I may have to change Monday, Wednesday. I may have to change the week. Maybe I might have to do Tuesday, Thursday. The reason I don't like generally doing Tuesday, Thursday, though, is because that turns it into Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days in a row is a little tiring. I need to pay attention to how many times I've cl I've cleaned up iterations or waves, I guess. I still gotta do my uh, my Arc Knight stuff today. Uh, let's go to this fleet because it hurt. <laughs> A little gremlin I nineteen over there going like I'm gonna go mess that fleet up. <laughs> Little, little homete gremlin. <laughs> Alright, let's just start going. I need to use as much damage as I can. While being a bit more sparing about it. Can you stu can you two stop dancing around the middle there? That'll do. Should be the last one here. There we go. Whoa, okay. Slow that down. I took him for a second that off. My goodness, there's still more. I thought this was only a level two. Or a medium. I guess I am doing 50% damage debuff, but still. Do you have a ship that steals MVP every single time? Right now, Ibuki has been pretty dominant, but I think at 50% debuff, we start seeing the backline take it. Nope, Ibuki still took it. <laughs> uh, uh, Hal actually almost took it. But yeah, usually when I when you get the fifty percent damage debuff, we start seeing the backline just start to really carry there. Though Ibuki is just Ibuki, and that blushing face is adorable. Humble Ibuki. I'm in a Discord. Oh, cool. No problem. Before, I think what was the funniest things is back when I was uh, using them together, Long Island and Enterprise would constantly butt heads over MVP. It was, that was one of the funniest things I've ever, like, had to deal with, was just the two of them constantly stealing MVP from each other. It was a, it was almost 50-50 split, too. <laughs> it wasn't because Long Island has, like, crazy good setup. It's more so just... Quick takeoff is a funny skill, and when you have RNG working in your favor, it it does things that it really shouldn't. That suicide bomber just ate all those torpedoes. <laughs> all right, let's see how stunning gun works against Miyoko here. 
It's a good start. And barely living. It's barely kicking. But not not hard for Vanguard to clean up. Is Princeton good? She seems very defensive. I don't know if she's necessarily gonna be that great or not. Oh, I need to do that again. Classic. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's see if Korkwa needs some uh, enhancements here. Oh yeah, she definitely does. I guess I could just do. Let me just do Phil. No carriers. Excellent. When an epic character is harder to get than Shinano. <laughs> when a rare character is harder to get than Shinano. Looking at you, Isuzu. I'll give some to Chiyoda. I mean, redhead, a red haired Yamashiro. And boop. All right, that is all of the space I can do right now for that. All right, back to fighting. It's laughing unless Long Island's quick takeoff skill activates. Yeah, that seems about right. Yep. See, the really funny thing too is uh. Long Island is currently the only character I have on my team that I, I've mentioned this I know multiple times to people, uh, but she's currently the only character on my on my entire team that's managed to ace people. And you actually cannot reach anybody. That is kind of funny. She's aced an enemy team in PvP, but that was early days, back when I think Hood Enterprise and Illustrious was still meta. How many Sandys do you want to keep? Yes. Yes. Explain Un Unis Honest to me. Okay. So, it was actually a really smart idea. I didn't really get into it much until, like, a couple months ago. But really what it was, was uh, Markiplier and Ethan, both of them worked on a channel called Unis Honest. And the, I believe Unis Honest directly translates to one year. I don't know if it's, I think it's Latin. I don't actually know. But the concept of it was, for a whole year, they would release one video every day. And it would be the most random stuff. It would be kind of just silly stuff. It could be like a, a silly meme video they worked on, a song video they worked on, an experience they wanted, to work, they wanted to experience for their own time. They had one year to do as much as they could from one channel in that entire time. And when that, when that time was up, when that year ended, the entirety of the channel would be deleted. No archives. Well, technically there are archives. I think people are not really respecting the rules there. Um, there was going to be no archives. There was going to be um, no backups from them. Every single one of the videos they spent, they, they you know, sp worked all of their sweat, you know, and tears on. Gone. Um, and that was the entirety of like that to to summarize it in a very very quick way that was it what they really wanted to get across was the whole concept of pretty much doing everything you can in with what time you have basically they're trying to get they're trying to summarize the entire concept of life on a youtube channel and it was it, it, it was a very, very different way to approach it, but at the same time, what they did... They did a good job at pretty much s s trying to symbolize life in a YouTube channel. In the sense of... Um, making the most out of the time that they had, and realizing that... You know, with, with such a short period amount of, amount of time that they would have together, that they would do everything they can. 
symbolizing basically. I'm trying to figure out how to word this correctly. It's kind of hard. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to really word that without making some like, It had a darker tone. It really does. Because at the end, at the end, you were supposed to feel the, like, the, the project would have succeeded if you were going, like, through the five stages of grief. At the end, because that was the purpose of it, in a sense, was that, like I said, the sim the symbolism, or making the symbolic uh, version of life through the channel. That's pretty much what it was. And so going through the process, the five stages of, of grief at the end, the last... The last, you know, two, three weeks when of it, of its entire existence, then it has done its job, and that was the most important. That was the thing that they really wanted to. In a sense, it was an art project, if you want to look at it that way. It was an, it was its own art form. There are going to always be sequels, but its first, but the first one will always be the, mo the one with the most impression. So. Hopefully that makes sense. It was pretty much do everything in in one year. And then when that year was up, when that timer hit zero, that was the end. And it was one of those scenarios where... T t okay, so what it's supposed to be is you had to have been there to experience it. But of course, people aren't going to fuck the rules. And they're going to archive. I think there's a few archive channels. I don't know if Mark and Ethan are going to do like DMCAs on those or not. I'm not sure, but they basically said if you're going back to those archives and enjoying those channels, then you have basically failed what they are trying to do, what, what they wanted the project to really be. So, in a sense, it's like, it's like a legacy. What do you, you know, you have a limited time, what do you want to be known for? And that's the thing, you, um, something doesn't Oh, what, what's the best way to put it? Uh, something isn't uh, a leg. I'm not trying to work. I'm not trying to work this. I don't remember how they. I think they just said something. Like when you can truly, when you can, uh, when you can remember something for the legacy and the and the ideal and and the significance it left behind, then it will never truly be forgotten. And that is when it has a big enough impact, is when it can leave that legacy, that kind of mark on people. And that was one of its powers there. Yeah, the last the last 30 minutes of that stream, 1.5 million people watching. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a stream that big. It was literally a third of, of the channel's sub base was watching that live stream for the last 12 hours of his existence. Uh, that was I was the one that was one of the few nights I actually stayed up to actually watch it to its entirety. I will I will I will definitely say it was a weird experience sitting there on that countdown timer and watching as the channels watching the last 10 seconds was something. It, it was a really weird experience for me. But at the same time, you know, I... <laughs> it's hard for me to say that, like, I wasn't really experiencing the five stages of grief, but the reason is a very, like, it's a very different reason for me, and the one that is unique. It is not, I'm gonna say this now, it's not a good thing that I go through the five stages faster. How much did I cry? I did not cry. I, so... My 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 problem is actually it's not really a problem. It's more so of I am very I go through those stages quickly. Um, I'm at the point now where I'm very quick to accept it because that's just the life that I'm used to. It is it is not a very positive thing for me to say, sure, but that is just because of my past, the stuff I've dealt with my past. The coffins were fun. It was a very I I I, lo I loved it. It was a, it was a nice little touch they added to it. But yeah, it's it's 
I'm I'm more I'm more used to the, the five stages that, I'm, and I'm not trying to be like uber uber negative. I'm just saying that's just my unique situation I'm in. Did I cry? Uh, a little bit. I was attached to it to a degree. I did enjoy the channel for what it was. It it gave me good laughs. Uh, its Last Supper was probably one of the funniest things because they brought the onion back. Um. The onion, like, I think the two, the, the best things of the Last Supper video was the onion joke that came back and just the fact that the first few dishes were just like, they didn't sound good, but for, apparently for both of them, they were really, really good. Barry to cremate it. Uh, one of the two. Yeah, you want to look at that. What channel you talk about? It was a channel called Unis Anis. It is no longer in existence because the owners, Mark and Ethan, Crank Gameplays, I think it's his name, Mark Plyer is the other one, uh, they deleted the channel. They deleted the channel completely as of Friday. Last Friday. It no longer exists. There are archives. There will be archives of it, but that is not following the rules. I don't know if they're going to be in existence much longer. I don't know how much Markiplier and Ethan are, Mark and Ethan are going to push for it. But that was pretty much what it was. It was that recent. Yes. So it's year it's one year anniversary hit last Friday. Right at midnight. Well, okay, midnight Saturday if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> Little torpedo, those little torpedo aircraft have always been next to the ship belt bars. Yes. That just tells you which ship has. So you'll see, like, you have two out of six here. Uh, the, I the torpedo icon tells you which torpedo is. Which ship has the torpedo ready to be deployed. So you can use that information to kind of strategically plan out when you want to use torpedoes. In late game, that can kind of matter. Especially if you're a manual player. Well, I mean, you're probably a manual player in Chapter 13 anyway. From what I understand. I could be a bit more liberal with it because I am in safe mode. I don't have to worry about it as much. Granted, at the same time, my characters are decent damaging. But yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Point your point. Yeah, you'd be. It's surprising the small details people can miss. Uh, there's a lot of things people probably don't know about Ozer Lane. Um, I think one of the biggest ones that people freaked out about was the uh, the jump to hard from hard mode to a ship's dock. So I'll show you that in a second here. Let me finish this fight and then I'll show you what I mean. But there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of features people don't generally know about the game that are kind of like things that are nice to know about. They're not game. They're not. I wouldn't say game changing, but they do make the experience a lot neater when you know about them. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like at, at 13, I, I'm not surprised people are manual. From what I've heard, um, I am pretty much mostly manual. I do auto from time to time if I really, if I really want to, but for the most case, I am very much an auto player or er, manual player. Probably, I just, well, generally once I get to around level 70, I start actually trying the ships out. That, he, that's, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna, yeah, you're gone. What are your opinions of low rarity ships that are, but actually pretty broken, like Casablanca or their booze with Slank Centaur? I actually do like using low rarity ships from time to time. Kuritaka and Kako are actually very, very common characters I use. Leander actually is in my, has been in my mob fleets a lot, or my, my boss fleets a lot. Uh, Kuritaka and Kako have been pretty good for mob. Um, what other low? I use a lot of, like, there's a good number of low rarities I actually do have pretty high level. Uh, actually, what's been really funny is ever since I've done Alba's video, uh, I actually have leveled her up decently now. I think she's level 96. A common that's pretty much bottom of the barrel. Yeah, 98. She's 98. 
This is probably one of the one of the worst uh, heavy cruisers right now, just because she's got nothing really to her. She's basically Furutaka and Kaka without their retrofits, but as soon as they, the two of them get their retrofits, they're instantly better than her. But it's like, there's a good number of low rarity ships that really aren't that bad. And they're actually worth investing time into. So like, Leander, as I mentioned, is a really solid. Shidunui is a good replacement for Ayanami if you don't, if you, if she's for some reason needs to sit out. Um, as I already mentioned, uh, Kako and Furutaka are very good. If you don't have Jinsu and Noshiro, Abukuma is a good replacement for the early torpedo heavy uh, vanguard if you really want to. She's got decent torpedo uh, boosting things for destroyers. Uh, Casting and Downs, generally people, I think, use them for zombies, but even at their retrofits, they're still pretty solid. Oklahoma and Nevada also aren't bad backliners either once retrofitted. Langley is mostly for carrier XP. Uh, you can use her, but... She's not really meant for... She's not great at combat. Uh, haven't used Hermes enough to really know much about her yet. I'm trying to think if there's any other retrofits that are... I think I'm already, I'm already hitting the end of the retrofits. But yeah, Nui Nui is definitely a good character for sure. Casablanca, we've already mentioned. Don't really need to really go into that. Ranger, another really good backliner if you want some good RNG damage. But again, RNG is kind of king against her. Phoenix, also very strong light cruiser in the rarity... In the low rarities. Uh, one of the other zombie characters that people use. Um, Lulu isn't too bad. I wouldn't say she's amazing. She's like the most amazing character uh, for low rarity, but she's not bad at all. But yeah, for for those kind of characters, they're not that bad. Can I see your Isuzu Richard? I probably don't have her equipped, but sure. No, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I need the pouty face. I need that pouty face. Put the pouty face on. Oh no, that's a, a friendly's pouty. So, Isuzu, not a bad... Re if you don't have San Diego Kai, Isuzu is a very, very strong replacement for her. As she's a lot easier... If you have her, at least. I mean, getting her is a good quite is the first part. Uh, but if you do have her, retrofitting her and getting her pretty high level, she's a good replacement if you don't have San Diego Kai yet. She's also adorable. Put that there. <laughs> I completely forgot someone's got the name Steam Catapult. Still very much a scaredy cat, yes. But, uh, she tries. She's, she tries not to be scared anymore. Which is why I made the whole joke about Isuzu training San Diego... Or no, San Diego training Isuzu. How good is Nicholas just got it last week? Nicholas is... Like, like I, I think the like I made my equip, my equip, my uh, comparison before. Laffy, but like a step down. She's still pretty solid as a destroyer. She's not the, she's just not the best. So, definitely, I'd say definitely worth investing in if you uh, don't have a lot of really strong destroyers like Tashkent, Nimi, um, Laffy. If you don't have any of those uh, retrofitted and leveled, Nicholas is a pretty good replacement for them. But as I said, those three that I've mentioned right then alone are going to easily overpower her um that's just part of the like power creeps that's what i will say for sure look at agano's skin i don't have her i guess i could try to find it but i'm not gonna be able to find her that quickly dito muse is not bad if you have if you managed to somehow have seattle before sandy kai oh yeah you already mentioned seattle about Renown. Renown isn't bad either. Like, she hits, she still hits pretty hard. It's just, it's a, uh, there's some downsides to Battlecruiser. Um, I get, well, okay, those are more PvP than they are PvE. Uh, PvP Battlecruiser, <laughs> unless you're a Magi. Um, most of them are, well, even then, a Magi still has to suffer from Warspite. Oh, well, if, uh, if Warspite somehow manages to, uh, she'll do some pretty good damage to her with her uh, barrage. Because she's medium armor. Not gonna, I mean, if it's level 120 versus level 120, it's not going to be a one-shot kill, but still. I don't know where Agano is on this list. How new is his skin? Because there's no way to sort. Hmm. 
Finding the skin is gonna be a lot harder than I think it, we're wanting it to be. No, I don't have Agano yet. That's why I'm grinding at 11-2. That's not her. Sort by casual. Can you sort? I guess you could you could filter. Is this it? That is it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> She's got like the uwu face. Oh no. The uwu face is is telling of something. That's kind of cute. I don't know how to feel about whatever gun emplacement sticks out of her purse like that. It's a little concerning. Yeah, I, I need to get her uh, to kind of get a feel for her character, though. Which is what I'm working towards. It's an S tier. I would probably say that's an A. I would say it's an A, if not a B. Then again, my metrics for that is different. I was... Oh, Meta, you missed me doing this earlier because people were asking me this. <laughs> I guess they watched your video and wanted my opinions, too. Not saying yours are bad or anything. <laughs> I think they just wanted to see what I would do. But then again, my, my, my the way I go about uh, metrics is really that uh, probably different. I mean, B is basically it's fine; it doesn't really stand out or anything. All right, let's see here. I 19, I s All right, now let's do this. Let's see, is she gonna do it? Is she gonna go for the aircraft carrier? Oh, she went for that one first. I'm surprised she wasn't greedy there. I'm not exactly sure how subs go about prioritizing certain fleets. S is the wood simp for tier. No, S is the it's really good, has a lot of minor details that may be overlooked depending on whether or not it's fan service or not. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of torpedoes. I hit three of them. <laughs> Four of them, probably, actually. That's a lot of ships in one confined space. I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of them yet. Just block the shots. Yasuma loading screen. No, not all the Ibuki skins aren't S tier. I mentioned that earlier. No, I would. Oh no, I have not gotten there. I started focusing towards uh, collection ships, so all the ones pre chapter eleven, and then from there I just uh, started focusing on leveling up characters more than I focused on really going into in game. Because just the, the the nature of the videos that I generally do for these, which were leveling up characters, getting a feel for them, and then telling people how I felt about using them. So yeah, I mean, I could probably easily get past chapter 12 without a problem. World 13, I'm gonna probably have to figure out how, what I need to do. Are right, you gonna go for this? You're gonna go for the recon theme. You're just greedily going for the. Okay. What PR ship should I get first? First thing I would say is look at which ones you can get, and then after that, look at the requirements and see whether or not you want to use specific ships to obtain those characters. So, like, if you don't have a lot of, uh, you know, really good uh, stuff in Empire Backliners, or actually, let's just go Royal Navy Backliners. I don't think a lot of people are going to go, are going to suggest to lose them all for the first. But, like, pay attention to what characters you have available, which ones you're going to be okay using constant, using for a while to level up that, to, to grind with. And then from there, what? So what? What collection percent? I'm at 97. I'm a 97 percent collection. That includes all retrofits. I do have all the collab ships, but they don't count towards the final percentage. So whatever. Yeah, 
Yeah, Monarch, yeah, really Monarch and, uh... Monarch, Seattle, uh... Neptune could be potentially easy, depending on who you've le uh, what kind of frontliners you've used. Um... It really just depends on who you have available, really. It comes down to who you have available, who you're willing to use a lot. What characters are high level, how far you are, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things you have to really work towards. So, like, for me, um, I don't really have a preference who I really level up for, or who I really work towards, considering I've got in pretty even distribution about who I use and everything. I've got a good number of, of Iron Blood frontliners, a good strong number of Iron Blood backliners, a solid frontline from, I, uh, from Sakura Empire, as you see here. Well, no Shiro could really use some levels, but it's fine. I've got a, I've got a bunch of other characters I can use. I've got a lot of strong eagles, backline and vanguard. Royal Navy, as you can see, my my backline right now. So it's for me, it's my scenario is a bit different because I I've got so many characters leveled. So that's kind of why I'm not necessarily gone past 11.3 is because I've been focusing more on building horizontally than building vertically. Or, le you know what I mean, le basically get get getting the opportunity to build a lot of diverse fleets and having a lot of ships to work with for hard modes if I really needed them. Which is a which is an amazing thing, because hard mode is a lot easier to deal with when you have such a diverse group of characters to work with, because you have a lot of options. So, like, I have a lot of characters in the 90 plus group right now. I have a good number even in the 80s, too. Didn't stop the Perseus so like right now for me, I'm I'm more than certain I can go into, into chapter 12 with little issue. My 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 boss fleet may have to change. I don't think this boss fleet I use now is going to be able to be effective much longer. I know for I think chapter 13, it's definitely not going to work. It's by some sheer luck I can manage to pull that off. I don't know. But my end game, my end game goal would be level 120 of a lot of ships, if not all of them. That would be the biggest end game for me. They don't all have to be oath, but they can all be level 120. So I have a very strong, powerful fleet. It'll be your non -pl non plus ten equipment, and that won't be too hard to get. Plates aren't going to be difficult to acquire. I know where to get my plates if I need them. Granted, that point's gonna come down to RNG, but still. Operation Siren. Ah, fair enough. That was a perfectly timed artillery shot there. It's what grinding. Yeah, exactly. Useless torpedo plates. Well, yeah. And that's not going to be hard to do, considering I do go after a lot of fleets anyway. Or I generally do a lot of grinding anyway for other character levels. Not that difficult.
I know, but if I really need a ha heavy anti-air presence, I've got really high-level Isuzu Kai, I've got San Diego Retrofit, I've got Seattle, which I'm still... Well, okay, Seattle probably less so because I'm not really level for her. I've got strong anti-air backliners. So that's like the least of my concerns there. Oh, I did that too early. Oh, I did the animation skip there. Yes, going after different fleets give you different plates. Main fleet's going to be your big one if you want a lot of the more critical plates. Like, uh, the gun and, uh, general part. Or Ox I, is it general part or is it Oxo? I think it's called Oxo, right? Yeah, so it really, it really comes down to which, uh, which fleets you're using. Or which fleets you're fighting. It's so like there I got main and I think it was anti-air gun, which is alright. Yes, that is true. They do change during events. There's a lot of like smaller facts that people really don't... The game doesn't really tell you. You just kind of have to fi either figure it out or look it up. And that, and that is one of the many things right there. Does the Princeton event end today? I don't think so. I don't think it's just me saying it, though. I mean, Savant's been pretty inform informative, too. And meta. I think meta has as well. So it's not just me passing this information on. So I'll give credit where credit's due. But yeah, this should still have like I think a whole another week. Maybe not prostrate. <laughs> no, I've <laughs> fish is such a chuny. <laughs> She's such a freaking chuny. <laughs> ah, the uh, Wadi Da didn't happen. You're done. Oh, what you done for? Jeez. I've been. I, I enjoyed the first few little. Uh, hey, more of those. I'm never gonna complain about those at all. They're just the one they bother to watch. Oh, oof. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Whew. I'm trying to think what else. So it's just six cents they drop here. Oh yeah, they got up with those. Yeah. Okay. Uh, something else I wanted to show before I forget. Oh, right. Something else I wanted to show before I forget. This is one of the other things people don't realize you can do. So when you pick, if you have characters in here, which I don't meet the requirements hilariously enough, um, this is something you can also do. Click, tap and hold, or click and hold. And it'll take you straight to that character's equipment page. Swipe left, swipe right, and that'll show your entire team you've set up on that hard mode for that particular for that particular fleet. You need to back right up, and you're back at the hard mode menu. That's one of the biggest things people never know, and it's so nice. It's just one of those things that you're never told. And, uh, you either have to accidentally figure out that that happens, which, that's what happened to me. I accidentally clicked, uh, tapped and held, or I think, I don't know if I tapped and held or if I clicked and hold. I do wish that they could switch their positions in this screen, too. It is very, very, very annoying that you can't do that here without taking out all the characters if you want one in the front or one in the back or whatever not. You can't, not in normal mode, though. Uh, you can kind of do it in normal mode. You could still do it in normal mode to a degree. I don't think it shows the full team, though. I think that's not intentional. Yeah, it just shows the particular character. It doesn't show the full team, which I don't know if that was intended or not. 
So that's one of the other things you could do. Um, and not, I can't do it because they're live 2Ds here. I don't think I have a non-live 2D on right now. I do not. Uh, you can do the same thing with your secretary ship on the main screen. If they're not live 2D, you can click and hold. And it will take you straight to there. Of course, I've got live 2Ds, so that's not going to work. Also, there's also the the follow the the pointer around with the live 2D skins. They, I don't know why that's a the thing they added, but they did it anyway because it's funny. That's live 2D skins. That's not a lot. It's only like four or five, I think. I think I have five. I think I've got a few. I, got, I know I've got Cleveland's. Uh, I don't know how many other live 2Ds I have. I think I'll talk about beach one is. Yeah, that's right. I was like, do I have any others? Actually, I think I'm missing Graf Spee's here, aren't I? Yeah, I am missing Graf Spee. I don't think it works live 2D, does it? Yeah, I think live 2D... So, live 2D loses it because it has the, the eye tracker. So I think Live 2D is the only reason you can't do this. So if I switch off of Live 2D, which is going to be really, really weird. Did that only turn off the... It only turned hers off. That's weird. So if I turn off Live 2D, click and hold. That's what that does. Now, what's hilarious is... Uh, that feature is the reason this original zoom and enhance bug was a thing. Uh, because you can move it around and zoom in, but if you click and held, you would get thrown into the into the character's dock uh, menu, and that is what caused that bug, was the, was the state confusion on the game. What happened to your gems? People wanted me to buy skins. I bought skins. I got a lot of super chat again. <laughs> But yeah, when you're in Live 2D, if you're using any Live 2D characters, you will not be able to do that. I think it's because of the eye tracker bit that they have on the Live 2D skins. That's probably the, what I would believe is the reason why. It's such a cool bug feature. I love the fact that they made it a feature. That was so good. The only person that they can't do it on still is, uh, is Akashi. Akashi is the only character you cannot do any type of zooming in. Well, I mean, you can, but it's you're just going to zoom in on her chest. When she looks right. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a cool little feature, but some of the live 2D skins, when you're looking, when you're having them stare in a particular direction, the face kind of, like I said before, stretches and shrinks and does really... Really weird, really weird things. Which is not a problem of the artists, it's just the downside to life 2D in general. Ibuki gets away with it a little bit more on here. Well, okay. Uh, I think the face is fine. <laughs> what is going on with the chest? <laughs> she is not even looking. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even. I feel like I know what's trying to track. <laughs> Why is that moving? Why does that move? Whose idea was that? Why do those follow the cursor? What do you mean? <laughs> Her eyes are... Are they? Oh yeah, they are. But the head is not moving at all because it's got a whole animation loop that it's a part of. So it doesn't have an interrupt. <laughs> Spees does it though. So like Spees gets away with it okay. 
It's just because speed does have a good portion of her face kind of hidden, and that does help with kind of the stretching and shrinking. It doesn't show it as much. I think Cleveland's... I don't know if it was Cleveland's or it was Shokaku's that has a problem. Let me actually see which one it was. Let me turn elites off here. Or misclick and not do that. Okay. Uh, I don't, I think it might have been Cleveland's. I don't remember. I think Shokaku's has a problem. That is not the reason I like Ibuki. We switch to her Gentry Knight. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if it's Cleveland's that has a problem. Yeah, Cleveland's is well done. Maybe it's Shokaku's. Maybe not. Although, you can see a little bit, the head is really shrunken in. It's like, see how this is like, that's a good si proportion, and then look at this, it shrinks. So Shokaku's just have a problem at the bottom, when you look at the, when you force them to look at the bottom right, the head is actually kind of shrunk. That's just the downside of Live 2D, that's not a problem with the artist. <laughs> I don't understand the head pad on this character, though. I think it's just something she wasn't expecting. Anyway, I probably got one more run in me, and then I'll go ahead and say it's all for today. But yeah, that's just the downside of Live 2D. You can't do much about it. The bird there now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is, uh... That's something. I mean, Casey Bias. What do you mean, Casey Bias? I mean, I, yeah, I like Crane. I like the Crane sisters. But, come on. <laughs> Rod Bird. But that's just the problem with, uh, Light. Like, Light 2D does have its own share of issues. It's got a great... Uh, I love seeing it on Endgame because it does make the characters a bit more lively. Which I will never complain about. It's just, I know there are some shortcomings when it comes to Live 2D, and I really feel like that, as long as people are aware of that, it's fine. But it should be a turkey. <laughs> it should be a turkey. <laughs> what do you want about? I think that's the last of it right here. Yep. Glad I got the human. Hi, report weather. Paul, please. <laughs> Get the ch season six. I don't think so. Is it in play right now? Wait, did that just say Takao Lover added Atago Lover? Really? Hold up. Takao Lover added Atago Lover. I know what you think. We're the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> I have, um, let's see. Uh, that's challenge one, I'm assuming. Two, three, four, five. And I think six is right here. Yeah, six is right here. So I've not gotten six yet. What is what is challenge mode for six right now? Let's take a look. What is what is our challenge mode right now looking like? Let's back up for a second. What do we got? What do we got? Please no Essex. Shambar? I didn't know she made it into this now. Okay. Interesting. I'm intrigued. 
Cleveland and Ayanami, those aren't that hard to fight. Wait, is this a double boss? Cleveland, Ayanami, Kaga. I don't think I've seen Kaga as a fight yet. And Tippets. It's the Jumper Dunkirk. Oh, now I kind of want to try this. I probably won't have a problem with my with my stun and dumb team. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wave 11-2. I'm gonna try this. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Not very hard at that. Oh yeah, after that, that's gonna be easy. I'm curious to how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna bring in my my usual stun and dun team and see how quickly this goes. Watch a retreat. I'm gonna forget about it, to be completely honest, because I'm gonna go ahead and probably log off. Because I got I ran after stream. I'm sw I gotta switch to Arc Knights. I haven't even touched Arc Knights today. And then I've got some Genshin stuff to do, so I'm gonna for completely forget about it regardless. All right, so that team is ready to go. I'm gonna bring Mini because Mini's never been a bad one to take here. Uh, I'm gonna bring usual my usual sweat team. Let's bring usual sweats. Good AA, good survivability. Uh, this is challenge mode, so I highly doubt evasion's gonna really play into here. Hold up. Should I meme on this? That's loyalty. Sun prayer. Blue spirit. Ah, oh, no, none of these are really the ones I want. As much as the That's perfectly fine, it happens. Hey, Mystic. Got. Gotta go. Alright, see ya. Yeah, you have the CC tournament in Ping with Penguin Logistics, so I understand why you're busy. Hope that's going well. Okay. You need a good gun. Take this off, Chappy. Maybe I'll try evasion build. I might see if the evasion build actually does work. I haven't tested that in a while. Yeah, Genshin's got an event going on right now that's actually kind of worth grinding, which is like part of the reason why I'm like, I might actually have to go do that. So let's go ahead and switch this off. I'm gonna see if the evasion tier works, because the, the I don't have a problem with my Vanguard survivability ability considering I have Shoho in it. Shoho is in my back line, which is just gonna cause my, my front line to heal. Um, I'm gonna nick this. Need sleep. Keep on keeping. All right, see you, guard. Thanks for the two dollars. Cause why not? Yeah, that is a bit of a downside. I can't say I'm fond of that, really. I do have an episode of Genshin recorded, but I have not been able to really touch it on editing. I wanna go ahead and just double down your your actually. Go look at that uh, guide. What does that guide give you again? This one. あ、ガシミこんなによくしてくれて。もしかしたら、あかし、好き感の神様なのかな。いや、the that was barely better. Yeah, it was kind of barely better, wasn't it? I'm gonna go ahead and slap another one of the plus tens on her. Let's see how this goes. This should do. All right. <sighs> okay. I think this team is now ready to roll. Let me make sure I've got everything else. 
show how I'm gonna put plus tens on you. Oh, did I miss Cleveland secondary? I'll check it. Yeah, you're, we're gonna put Shinano's gear back on, uh, take off, yeah. That Cleveland is not rested enough. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, I play on PC. I don't even try to play that on my on my phone. I know my phone would not handle it. Yeah, let's switch that out. Let's give it the other one. Baltimore's gone. Okay. All right, and then I need to switch to my officer. Let's get our, oh, I gotta do this. Okay, I think it's Ark, and then it's Ark, because I think you're staff cat, right? Yep, you want staff. Because I can't use save loadouts here for some reason. Bishmaru. Okay, and then I need to adjust I-19. Then U556, and I'm just gonna have to use my, high, my highest levels. You, Staff Cat, I believe, is Elder Weiss. And then Command Cat is Steel. I like door music plays. <laughs> Why is the door music playing right now? Why is the door music really playing right now? That's a good question. That, that's a question I need to figure out. Why is that playing right now? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Why is it doing that? <laughs> I mean, it, it gives it gives some kind of ambience, I guess, for now, which isn't a bad thing. I gotta find some. All right, hang on. Let me let me get some. Let me go put some good music on here. What do we want here? Let me let me see what I can find. Let me see here. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Play stick with Oscar Lane related music. Rabbi Ruby always has that one really, really good song. That I always like to use for this. I could do this. I think it's this. Oh, God. What is the... What? Hang on. Let me... I gotta make sure it's not at, like, 200% here. Yeah, it's at 200%. Okay. Is this the one? That was loud. <laughs> this is not a bad one. This is the siren theme. Yeah, I tried to play it and opened up another very another uh So if this is this is siren music. Oh no, trust me, I, I know it's loud. If it's loud for me, it's definitely loud for you guys. And here's the thing, you guys are running at 70% desktop volume. So what I'm hearing is just a little bit louder than what you're hearing. Uh, it works. Unless you guys want me to go Rabby Ribby music. Then I can go for... Go for this. Like, these are all of the, uh... This is just... This is crossway music. I can even put... I could even put in, uh... Thunderhead from Trillion if we wanted to. Thunderhead's pretty good music.
Here, let me let me let me let you guys see Thunderhead. This is Thunderhead from uh Here it is. So it starts off slow, but it works pretty good. I need to turn off music for this real quick anyway. This is not Crosswave, this is Trillion. Put the San Diego song for memes, oh god. Uh, we'll, go with, we'll go with Thunderhead. I think Thunderhead's good. All right, we should be ready to roll. Er, okay, hang on. I'll give you guys one more option. I'll give you guys one more option. This one is from uh, Rabbi Ribby. Let me go find it real quick. I always forget what it's called. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. This is challenge mode, Rabby Ribby. This is the one I've used in the past for challenge mode. Why not contingency? Oh, I could use contingency. But that's 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 pretty. That one's pretty high, high energy. I think we'll stick with this one. This this is probably the winner. All right, let's go. This one's kind of chill at the same time. It's also got a good amount of energy. It is double. Okay. Let's burn through that now. Is this going to be the same patterns too? It looks like same patterns already. Not as damaging. Oh, geez, hello. Oh, it's right down the middle. Okay. I didn't know that was the case here. Okay, they're dead. Yeah, they're gone. I did. I honestly did not think I would drop Dunkirk that quickly. I did not consider dropping how quickly that would drop Dunkirk. Oh no, guys! I know, I know to use my subs. I usually use them around uh, twelve to uh, twenty to fifteen, depending on the type of character I'm fighting. Fifteen is usually the heavier armors. Cleveland's just going to be a bit diff more difficult to take out. Be a little early on subs. Yeah, Cleveland versus Cleveland, exactly. I 
don't know if I want to keep. I want to switch these two. Ainami is all about the torpedo, though. I'm using good uh, keyboard. Need torpedoes, Ainami. Retreat. <laughs> Difficult seeing I got the I got the heal out, we're good. There we go. Kaga may be a bit of a struggle, we'll see. I'll make it look easy. <laughs> it's not that difficult. <laughs> uh when I have time, Zego, I've been struggling to get time for it. Oh, it's a doubles! Yeah. Torpedoes, run! Are they just gonna circle this entire time? That's slightly exploitable. Are they gonna be actually dangerous, or are they not gonna do it? Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, is there actually gonna be, like, threats here? What's going on? Well, you're standing still. That's a bad idea. Surprise, I need you to not. I need you to Owari da. <laughs> I'm not gonna use subs yet. Nimi's shield is saving us there a little bit. Is there a stun on Kaga there? I was like, where is the actual threat from them here? Alright, I wonder how Tear Pits is gonna be. This is just like, this also shows like how good Stun and Gun can be. The problem is it can be easily countered. But most PvE instances aren't gonna really have a counter for it. Although I think Chapter 13 does bring the. Oh, that's it. Orange balls. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end up eating all of them, that's fine. And thank god, formidable, you were in the middle because BBAP doesn't hurt as much. Or the other two at least. There's the water dot, that's gonna hurt. Brought down to 10 bars in one go. I-19 going in for the damage there. Construction mode kicking in. A lot of torpedoes inbound. I-19 may actually kill. I-19 with the kill. There we go. 10,435. And there I don't need to actually share it. So. There we go. I-19 getting a kill on that is awesome. I've never seen a, uh, I don't usually see a, a sub getting a kill in, in challenge mode. Well, I can collect this now. I'm probably not actually placed. Yeah, I am not placed. No, oh, Night Raven, nice. I didn't expect to see a Night Raven there. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna be disappointed if I don't see two people on this list. Because I know two of them are very, very, very decent with their builds. Or they may not just care anymore. That's also possible. That can, that's Kimochi. I don't know if that's the same Kimochi. I don't actually know. 
Oh, did he not do it this time around? Or is it too early? We might have, we might have, he might have not done it yet. Yeah, he hasn't done it yet. He would have been. He's usually in the top 20. I am barely underneath. About, about another 100 or so out. a little bit underneath, but I don't generally care for getting on the top 10. It's not a major concern for me. Am I even ranked in any of this stuff? Well, this... Wait, what is this even? Never spad. Oh, the, yeah, that's... Oh, that's not a military rank. That's exercise. Yeah, I... I wait, Meta, you're not on... Are you on a... Meta, are you on Aurora? I don't remember if you're on Aurora or not. I think... I feel like you're on another one. What server are you on, uh, Meta? <laughs> Zero points in PvP. Blasphemy. For this season, Meta. <laughs> For this season. He's watched it. Okay, yeah. Collection, I'm not listed. Oh, wow, I'm actually, I actually have a number around my name now. Yeah, okay, I'm not surprised Himmel's maxed. Look at all these hundreds. I want to join these ranks soon, but I gotta get to chapter 15 for that. Look at all these hundreds. Wait, wait, hold up. Where is... Don't tell me he's not in the hundreds. I thought he was. Is he not in the hundred? Or is this just only showing the most recent? Doesn't show him. He's not here. The power. Usually he's. Alright. Come on. JoJo's there. There's him. I have a low fleet power because I don't have everyone equipped yet. I don't even think I'd be able to make it, make it really budge much until I get on the higher levels. He's not in here. Where is he? Lobo, where are you? You're not this far down. Did I pass you up and not see your name, Lobo? Lobo Cortex, where are you, man? Lobo, where are you? Suckerland. I usually see global. Yeah, see, I usually see global on that list. Maybe, maybe things have changed. Okay, I don't know. Ah, oh, they So, anyway. Well, at least I completed that. Oh, I gotta unlock it. The game's gonna screw at me until I actually touch it. I like to keep it empty, though. Just because it actually shows oaths. I don't generally use it. So. Alright, that is gonna be all for tonight, guys. Uh, <laughs> glad I got the challenge mode working. Glad I managed er, to succeed that one. That probably it really isn't that hard to clear it. That's the thing is it's not hard at all for me to clear challenge mode. Some of them are going to be harder than others. Uh, I'll definitely agree to that. As anything with Essex in it's going to suck. So I'll just say that way for sure. Um, uh, uh, I think Friday I'm going to pick a random game to play. I don't think it's going to be one I've covered yet. At least not on stream. I'm not sure. And then after that I'm going to probably stick on uh, start the series up. So, uh, what, 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 what happened here? Head pat, head pat. Don't be so, don't be so upset, Ibuki. Anyway, um, <laughs> after tomorrow's, uh, after my, after my day of work tomorrow, I'm pretty much going to be taking 10 days off, which is going to be awesome. I'll be able to focus, uh, from work, I'm going to say, from work, not from YouTube. Uh, I'm going to actually have a lot of time instead of working like 50, 60, 70 hours a week, which... It's not their fault. It's just the situation we're in right now kind of sucks. But, um, that's kind of the downside of working in the medical industry when stuff is going on. <laughs> so, um, I'm trying to think. Anything else I want to really mention? I'll have to see if I'm going to cover Arknights on Friday. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to try to go for. I might try to go for 18 on fr on Saturday for Arknights. Any opinion of the AL upcoming collab? I have not seen anything on it yet, so I'll have to take a look at it after stream and see what, what to think of it. So, anyway. 
Um, that's gonna be all for tonight, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I will hopefully get around to getting videos out. I know I've been trying to get them touched, but God, it has been difficult dealing with the uh, juggling time. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys again uh, next stream or video I do. Till then, I'll catch you guys all again real soon. You guys are now going gao egg and poi. We have so many different thing now. What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh gosh.